Hey, hey everyone, how we doing today? Happy, happy Monday. I'm sorry I'm a little late today. Um, as you could probably tell by the title, if you did so read it, I happen to be an uncle today. Uh, today is kind of a big day. My sister finally gave birth. Uh, last night she went into labor at 11, like 15, 11, 30-ish um, at night. And uh, she gave birth about 12 hours later at 11.50 uh, a.m. this morning. Congratulations to my sister. It feels weird, man. Um, you know, obviously excitement and everything like that. We, we want to be happy for family, for getting through the whole struggle and, you know, not having any rough patches or any tragedies. Thank you, LP. I appreciate it. Also, welcome. Happy Monday to you. I appreciate that. It's so super nice of you. Um, but like, congratulations to my sister for making it through nine months of caring to term and then also going through the actual pregnancy. Um, that's something that that's a superpower I could never, you know, tackle. I'm just a man. All I do is uh, I do a one of Ugh! and then then my job's over. You know, I, I can't even <laughs> I can't even imagine. Um, so first off, congratulations to her. And I know she's been super excited. But at the same time, it's kind of weird. Right. I'm 31 now. My sister's 34. Um, we we almost assumed her entire life because she said so it's not something that we just took for granted she said it multiple times that she didn't want to be a mother <laughs> um but in the last few years she's just been super gung-ho about it you know time changes i get it you know hormones change emotions change you find the right person uh your life's a little bit more stable whatever it may be um comes through but it's just kind of funny because knowing my sister throughout most of my life and then pretty much finding out just in the last like year or two that she wanted to actually be a mother. We're like, what? Who Who are you? <laughs> are you being pressured? <laughs> Blink twice. <laughs> you know, it's just it was kind of weird, but it, it's nice that she's uh, she's going through with it and she's enjoyed. Obviously, it's planned pregnancy her and her fiance um, definitely are excited. Dude, yeah, I'm 30 and I've been adamant that I don't want kids. Yeah, I'm not a huge kids person, right? So it's funny. Um, I'm going to milk it for a little while, but everyone's like, oh, you must be so excited to be an uncle. I'm like, eh, I really don't like kids. Like, I've never liked kids, even when I was a kid. They just, they're there, you know, like they're just not my jam. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stay on that on that gravy train for the rest of my life. A lot of people tell me, oh, you'll change your mind. Men sometimes change in their mid thirties. I'm like, no, I really don't think you understand. It's not just like a kind of eh, kids or whatever. It's like, no, nah, I just really don't like them. Um, I'm sure I'll, I'll have moments with my, with my niece and I'll try to be the best uncle I can, but I'm not, I don't know. It's just a thing for me. <laughs> it's just another thing. It sounds weird, but, um, I've gotten pictures and updates have called my sister and she's doing well, relatively better. I guess, you know, I just, I've never been around people who've given birth and the immediate like, aftermath. It was kind of weird. Um, she called me at like 12, I think, um, 12, 12, 30, you know, obviously cause she had just given birth like half an hour ago. She sounded fine. Like a regular person not who just went through a major bodily surgery i guess is the best term for it she just expelled a thing out of herself and she's just like hey bud how's it going i'm like how are you and she's like what's going on with you i'm like what you just gave birth what are you asking me about my life for <laughs> it was just kind of weird i i just figured I, I thought it was um, her fiance, my, my brother-in-law, who was going to be calling and, you know, give me updates while, you know, um, my sister was resting in the background and, and blah, blah, blah. But no, straight up, my sister, and it took me a second, she's like, hey, bud. I'm like, uh, 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 what? And she's like, how you doing today? I'm like, shut up. Tell me how you are. It was, yeah, it's incredible. Uh, straight up powerhouse. We've always said it. The, the women on my on my family side are just like straight up. They're monsters. Cause like my grandma's 80, still retiling her own roofs and stuff. Like she's out there mowing her lawn. She's feisty as hell. Um, all the women in our family are strong powerhouses. Yeah, most of the men are just more like me. They're just quiet, more like introspective. You know, um, the women lead the family for sure, and we're okay with that. As, as a family unit, we're all okay with that. <laughs> but, you know, um, she's always been strong. She's always been fairly independent. And um, I guess, it, I don't know. I guess you just don't really think that 
producing and pushing out babies extends into how you see a, a person throughout their whole life if they're a strong person who doesn't really react to pain all that much um who kind of just like struggles through sickness with like a, a few quick like flutters of their eyelashes and just kind of coughs at it and they're better the next day i guess pregnancy is the same thing right they just kind of bounce back from stuff um it's incredible it's uh ladies what you all do is incredible uh i just feel really bad i know we just you know life stuff i don't like to get into politics too much i mean i like talking about it but it's not usually worth it to bring it out um with the whole baby formula thing that's just kind of going on right now the shortages and and all that kind of crap um it's just kind of unfortunate you know um but she's you know obviously plans you know this is this is a lot of stuff that they've been talking about and thinking about and uh, planning for for nine months now so i'm pretty sure they're okay ish right where our family is is decent they have a two you know income house um they own their own house so they're 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 fine um it's just one of those things that like i guess as a outside observer i'm looking at and going like oh like this what a this is a life to bring a baby into so it's interesting uh it's a thing I don't know if I like my microphone up here. I'm always trying to find a new place for it because the unfortunate part is now I got this big old shadow here whenever I wear white and I don't like that, but there's really nothing I can do about it. So um, now that I've mentioned it, you guys see it, but you probably never saw it before. You're welcome. Anyways, that's all the news I got for today. Um, yeah, I guess just one, uh, once again, congratulations to my sister and my stepbrother. They're going to be good parents, I can tell, if my sister gets her sleep. <laughs> She's lucky because uh, my stepbrother is very much like me. He, he games and he has a completely opposite schedule than her. He's up at night, you know, he gets to work from home and stuff like that. Uh, my sister is very much a 9 to 5 and needs like 8 to 10 hours of sleep, you know, half the time. So she's lucky that, um, you know, my stepbrother, her fiance is going to be up at 2 a.m. And, you know, 2 to 4 a.m. And, uh for whenever the baby gets fussy in the middle of the night, you know, they kind of tag team it. It's, she's going to be lucky on that. So hopefully she won't be too tired. I'm sure she'll want to be around the baby for a long ass time. Right when, um, you know, she, they first get home and get comfortable. That's why I'm not up there now. My mom's up there and everything, but I want to give them space and let them kind of relax with the baby and settle in. Um, you know, my mom and my stepbrother have that tackle. They have their friend network up there. So I'm going to give it a month or two, let them kind of get back to the normalcy of life and let my sister be able to recover, recuperate without having to worry about entertaining or hosting or anything like that, um, or the stresses of, of whatever it may be. Uh, let them kind of just relish in the whole new baby thing, let her rest and recuperate, and then I'll go up and, and see her and see whatever she needs to get done. If things need to get done around the house, uh, if my stepbrother needs help. Uh, painting or setting up different things. I'm sure they've already got it, most of it done, but you know, I think they wanted to talk about uh, replacing certain floors and and different things like that. Um, whatever it may be, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we just hang out. Anyways, um, I think I figured out what happened with control. You know, we we had the issue yesterday and the day before of control constantly crashing on me. Hold on, let me just get into the game here. Um, I'm going to. Pause the music. I'm just going to switch into the game early here. Oh, let me get my webcam up. Uh, let's go in and do DirectX 11. Uh, I was looking up some, some stuff. I didn't get to play around with it too much, but some people were saying there's some issues on the PC where it crashes a lot. And one of the ways to fix it is to lower some of the graphic settings. Um, I also noticed that on GOG, good old games here, the launcher, uh, where I have the Ultimate Edition, it didn't download the Ultimate Edition. It didn't download um, one of the patches that came with it. I figured that it just would, like, right, you buy the Ultimate Edition and you just it just instantly downloads all the things, but it all came in pieces. I got control of the base game. I got control of the Ultimate Edition. Actually, speaking of, let me just double check that before we go too much further. Um, so we got... Let me just exit out. Um, so on GOG, we have three different pieces when you buy Control Ultimate Edition. Control the base game, uh, Control the patch, and Control Ultimate Edition. So if you go under extras and everything here, you can kind of see it. Um, so I think they're all updated right now. 
Uh, let me just update two, update two. I think I think it's all good. I think I've already gotten these. Um, but that's kind of that's kind of I think something that happens with us. I don't want to download it now because I'm streaming, but I'm almost positive I did it yesterday. Let's see. No, not own games. Uh, installed. It is. It does say Ultimate Edition. So that was kind of one of those things. I figured that because it was Ultimate Edition, it would just start and boot as Ultimate Edition with all the patches and everything, but it didn't. Um, so people are saying, one, lower the graphic settings, and two, make sure all the patches and everything are updated and everything from there. If something else goes from, you know, goes wrong, we'll, we'll deal with it. But um, I'm going to try to finish Control. I don't like stopping games midway through when I've kind of said that I was going to do a full playthrough. But when the game keeps on crashing, there's, I'm going to be honest with you, there's really nothing more demotivating. It's just super demotivating to have to deal with crashes and and all that nonsense. Um, so I didn't. I don't know. I just. I guess I. I got selfish. I got uh, greedy. I don't. No, those aren't right words. Those aren't the right words to use. Okay. Uh, let's just double check our display here. Let's go. Quality preset. I mean, some of these things might need to go down to like medium shadow resolution. Volumetric lighting. I love volumetric lighting, but I'll turn it down just a little bit. Everything else I'll keep on. Uh, I'm not going to do ray tracing or anything because that I don't think my graphics card can really handle it. Um, I don't know if DLSS is good or not or worth it, I should say. So let's continue the game. Uh, we. Excuse me. Uh, we were on a boss fight and we kept on crashing during that. I guess I could technically just not do it, but it wasn't so much the boss fight as much as the whole um the precedent. Because <laughs> we, we, we encountered a crash even outside of a boss fight before. Uh, it was kind of during one of our training missions, so we'll see if it works. If it uh, continues to crash, I'll leave it alone, because we were able to get like three or four hours out of it without any any problems. So... If we just have to do something else, we'll do something else. Okay. This is our uh, this is our dude. Uh, that's a bad time to start shooting. Never mind. Perfect time to start shooting. All right. So I need to uh, get used to the fact that I should probably start going over to this one because I think he. Uh... Yep. So it's kind of like ring around the rosy with this guy. Uh, so he kind of like changes each little platform that he's going to aim at. And that's super easy, super fun. So let's get ready. Um, so our things are recharging. That actually doesn't do any damage to him, nor does that. Uh, this is the piercer, so of course it's going to do damage. That makes sense. Because I guess you could think of it kind of like armor. I mean, maybe I could get away with uh, shielding whenever he does his, his bat attack. And then, um, do a little bit better, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. I might need to start running a little bit earlier as well. That way I can start aiming at him a little bit faster. Uh, he should be forming up here soon. Shit, this thing's going to auto-fire. <gasps> yep. I'm only going to get one shot out on him this time. That sucks. Now the problem comes through is there's going to be other dudes that spawn. I think about the halfway point. We need to be ready for them. There they are. Here they come. Alright, let's get our shots out first. Because uh, we can deal with those dudes. Oh my god, did he just throw one of the, the bomb boys? Actually, I might want to go the other way. <laughs> I just got to realize this. I might want to start going the other way. Uh, who, oh shit, there's dudes right here. Fuck. I didn't realize. Oh, bad. Bad time. Oh, bad time for gamer. Uh, where's this guy going? Where's he aiming at right now? Shit, he's gonna aim right at me, isn't he? Yep. Time to go. Alright, so he's gonna continue going around in a circle. I'm gonna just call that a bust. Um, or at least he should. So he should face the other way with his back towards us. 
I hope. Oh my god, no, he is not. Oh yes, yes, okay. Whew. Thank you for the lurk, LP. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for being here and the congratulations and all that. Super nice of you. As per Yush. So, Jesus, nope. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, what just hit me? Did he just aim here? When did he do that? Why did he do that? Fuck. I'm about to die. Ah, uh, man, I need some health modules. I need some health modules. This game's straight up not gonna give me nothing. Oh, that's bad. Okay, let's get rid of this guy real fast. Give me health, maybe. <gasps> what the hell? He doubled up on this spot. He doubled up on this spot. I wasn't expecting it. I was not expecting that. Well, shit. Paying attention to multiple things is not fun. Uh, so I don't know why I was continuously going around clockwise. That was kind of dumb since this dude goes clockwise. I should go counterclockwise so I have three uh, platforms to be on at any given moment. So he's going to start um, usually on this platform over here. I'm going to jump to this one instead of that one. What the fuck is that? Also, I should probably be on the corner so I can land a little bit faster. Uh, I actually should probably see if I can shield up uh, and block that attack. Because if I can, I can probably just stay on one platform and not even worry about it. And then let all the enemies come to me. And I actually might just get more damage because I can see his core. All right, we'll we'll try that on the next go around. Also, I should probably start seizing some enemies too. All right. I'm probably gonna get a lot of damage whenever I I uh, try to shield, but. It's okay. It's all for experimentation. Realistically, this this isn't really like a hard boss, I guess. I'm just I'm definitely making it more difficult than it needs to be. Uh, let's get one charge up before we shield. All right, shield up. Okay, yep, it still hurts. It doesn't kill, but it still hurts for sure. Uh, Cause so I can't I can't take multiple shots of that. Come on. There he is. Alright, enemies should start spawning here soon. Seems like the appropriate time. Shit, that's early. That was early. Here they come. Oof. God. Oh yeah, that's right. They still explode, huh? Fuck. And they don't drop any health. Uh, or a bit. They drop a very small amount. Oh shit, they're right there! No! I didn't know they were right there. Oh man, this boss is uh, is definitely a thing, huh? I'm not doing well. I really probably should have kept something that did like a shield... I should probably... No, shield effectiveness isn't a upgrade. It's a mod, right? Let's check our mods. Let's see what we got. Because I'm definitely struggling. All right, let's see here. So I have health, energy, recovery speed. I have shield strength. Energy, recovery speed, and health. I think I'm going to lose the health. And do shield strength. And then maybe we get rid of grip. And put spin on for a little while. No, I don't need zoom on that. Okay. Um, do I have any... I could try to get a new... mod out of this. A new weapon mod. Let's try it. Low health boost. Okay. Not exactly what I would want, but it's fine. Alright, back at it again. <laughs> 
there's a trick to this. It's just fighting him with all the extra dudes coming around. Uh, having to worry about where you have to have to be is kind of a situation. We'll get it. It's just going to take me a little time. Right, I'm going to also see if I can hit his core from here. Doesn't look like I can. Yeah, that's also just not working at all. Great. There has to be a better way to do this, right? Like, there's something I'm missing, 100%. Wait, did not, wasn't I able to stop his, um, his little charge-up thing once before? I think I got it by uh, shooting him once before he was able to, to do the blast. I might just need to be a little bit more of a quick draw and do the damage. All right, we try it on this go around as well. All right, start charging up now, I think. Shit, that might have been a little early. Oh, nope, that didn't work. Nope, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Crap. That's bad. Okay, are the guys coming yet? Is it this go-around, or is it um, health-wise? Yep, here they come. Ow. Uh, I don't even see that guy. He's tossing stuff at me, and I don't even see him. That kind of sucks. Where is he? Shit! There he is. Wait, there he is. Oh, thank god. Okay. That dude can leave me alone. Alright, I gotta move. Have dudes spawned? Have other dudes spawned in? They're probably on that platform if they have. Yep. They... I gotta take care of them for a while. Um, Yeah, that health is worth it. Ah, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. Don't need exploders on me right now. Nope. Gotta run. Gotta run. Because I also don't know which way it's uh, it's facing right now. Uh, there's got to be... Oh, shit. There's got to be one of those charger dudes up around here, right? Uh, I gotta run. Go on this platform. Okay, I should be all right here for for a moment. That was too early. Shit, dude. All right, they're coming like every turn around now. That's not great. Oof, what the hell just hit me? Oh yeah, that's right, this guy. Fuck, not good. Charge, oh my God, why did I sit there and take that? I'll cease him. Yeah, I'll do it. No fucks given. Alright, time to get out of here. Alright, while he's doing that, I'm actually going to go get this health. Just in case one of those other dudes spawns. Kind of use it as insurance for a moment. Oh my god. Uh, it's recharging. I hate how long it takes to recharge. Wow, 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 wow. What the hell? I guess he was aiming at my spot. I didn't realize. Jesus. Oh my god. I can't find this guy. I can't find him. He always spawns in, and I never can tell him apart from the other ones. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We're going to be stuck here forever, aren't we? If I keep on sucking like this. 
listen, this may be something that it's just like, hey, you're not ready for it yet, but I'm going to keep on trying. If Elden Ring and Soulsborne games have taught me anything, I'm not going to just give up. Something that seems doable. Uh, it's just my own skill and awareness. Maybe, maybe tossing a clock in there actually does more damage than I think, right? Maybe that's the thing. Because I thought I remembered stopping its attack once before. It's making more clocks. See, that's the thing, right? So I'm going to try... Tossing a clock in there. That's it. <clears throat> I don't know why I didn't think about it. I just kind of figured she was talking about... I don't know. Something else. Alright, so... I don't know if it's just red clocks or only when it's facing us, but we can get a bit of damage out. Uh, let's find that clock. No, bad time to do that. Bad time to do that. Uh, I don't know if the red clocks always come through. Or if it's only... One per platform. I might have just wasted my clock. Okay, at least we know what we, we have to do now. That feels a little bit more cozy. Alright, the dude should be spawning here in the next go arounds. Uh, let's get ready for this. This also might just be another death here coming in. Um, because I'm going to try throwing a small clock. It may only be the red clocks. It is not. It's any clock. Beautiful. Those guys are faster than I remember, huh? I don't remember them being that fast. Alright, he's going to split. Oh my god, they're all spawning here? Why are they all spawning here? Oh fuck, this is sad. This is bad. Uh, crash. Here it comes. Here it comes. Great. Oh, boy. I thought I fixed it. I might need to lower the settings a little bit more, too. I am. My sister uh, gave birth uh, at 11.30ish this morning. Went into labor about 12 hours before that, and I am officially an uncle. Uh, stream just says just chatting. Good. Thank you. Thank you for fixing that for me. Uh, probably not a bad idea. We're still trying to uh, get past this one part uh, that we were crashing at yesterday. Um, kind of made me rage quit. But thank you for the congratulations. Congratulations go mostly to my sister and my stepbrother. They're kind of the uh, the ones. I, I didn't do anything in that situation. I'm just existing. That's the best I have to offer. <laughs> That's the best I have to offer. Um Crap, man. So the, the crashes are still happening during this fight, and I still don't know what's causing them. Because uh, sometimes you can get through this fight a little bit better. Sometimes it's still kind of shitty. <sighs> Damn. Well, I'm going to keep on trying to brute force it until it just works. Uh, I might try to get the settings down one more time. Just like overall put the settings on, on like medium. As much as I don't want to, uh, if this is going to keep on happening... You, you kind of have to. Is there an option? Was that an option for frame rate? Or was I being stupid? No, that's for brightness. So if I could cap frame rate. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Well, here we go. One more time. Uh, let's get on this one. Let's get some early damage. Now that we know he faces over here first. Let's get ready for it. How are you feeling about having a baby in the family? I don't really care about it. what the fuck. That sucks. That sucks. I'm just gonna die. Um, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. You, you know, it's it's one of those things. I'm I'm happy for my uh, for my sister and my stepbrother, but I'm just still not a baby person. You know, it's just one of those things. Uh, I was talking earlier how it's still a surprise because 30 years of my life, I essentially didn't know my sister wanted to have a kid because she's always said she didn't want to have kids <laughs> and then she kind of surprises like i've always wanted kids or i've wanted kids at least for the last like 
wow, that was weird, uh, like five or six years, and we're all like, what? <laughs> so yeah, um, my sister has apparently wanted kids for a while, and they plan to have this kid, and now they have a kid. So I'm happy for her. You know, I'm happy for that. Uh, what is this, Volvo Monster? It's um, it's an SCP. It's a it. It's definitely a thing. It's control. All the things in here are kind of weird. Uh, I'm trying to do it. It's just a side mission. I really don't need to be doing this, dealing with the crashes and whatnot. But you know, I'm I'm kind of I don't know. I'm kind of annoying asshole. Oh my god! I didn't even make that jump. I'm doing fantastic today, y'all. Doing fantastic. Can't even make a gap. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Maybe today's not my day. It's Monday. I'm going to chalk it up to it's Monday. Yeah, let's go with that. It's Monday. And uh, I got woken up last night uh, to some news. So this loading screen makes you uncomfortable. Nah, it's fine. All right, um, I was not able to get the initial early damage out on the boss monster. And I don't know if it's because this first one is just like showing you like it's invincible or whatever. Just showing you kind of what it's doing. Uh, but I'll try to get the damage out on this next go around. So we're just going to need to use the clocks a little bit more to our advantage. There we go. Um, shit, I should have gotten over here earlier. That was dumb. I might not make it in time. Uh, come on, there we go. All right, let's get over here. Oh God, they're spawning already. Fuck. All right, careful, careful. I know, I know, I know, I got it, I got it, it's fine. Oh, he's tossing dudes. I didn't realize he was tossing dudes. All right, I'm going over to this next one. All right, where's this other guy at? There he is. Oh my God, already? Piece of shit. All right, not gonna make it. Ooh, a little bit of damage there. A little bit of damage, it's fine. I don't know if those dudes uh, spawned up this time. I should be careful. Okay. We, I think that's the furthest we've made it so far. As sad as that sounds, I think that's the furthest we've made it so far. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Where's the other dude? Shit, where's the other dude? I don't see him. Uh, I also don't know where the hell it's facing this time. All right, so I'm just gonna keep on dodging back and forth. If it's, if it's aiming at me, I, I have a clock ready. I have a clock ready. There we go. He's around. The dude's around. Shit, I gotta be ready. Okay. Get rid of this guy. Uh, get rid of this guy, please. I'll seize him. Oh, shit! Was he, he was facing me? I didn't even know. Fuck. That's bad. It's okay. Get some health. Reset yourself. Get a clock. I don't know why this is so damn stressful. It's just so damn stressful. Okay. Big money damage. I guess I should move. Nope. Don't get greedy. Wait for it to come to you. Am I looking for you? Where'd you go? Shit, where'd he go? He's gonna do his big dodge. I don't know where he is. I lost him. Fuck. He's gonna hurt me. Is he down here? Oh, wait, it goes faster. That's why I was getting hit so much. The lower its health goes, it starts going faster. Okay, I was like, man, the timing on this is so strange. It's because he was going faster the whole time. All right, got to pay attention. Uh, seems like he summons less dudes, too. Yeah, the crashes don't help. Crashes never help. You, I wasn't in the right mindset earlier, for sure, just dealing with the crashes, because I was like trying to learn it, and then also trying to figure out what the hell's going on with the game. There's a lot going against me, but we got it this time, for sure. I'm not even worried.
Just gotta pay attention a little bit. Oh my god, why'd you get so close? Mm -mm. <gasps> Fuck! <laughs> no! No! He was one hit away! <laughs> oh, this game hates me. <laughs> Giant Fs. Giant Fs in chat. The biggest, stinkiest Fs in chat for right now. Oh my goodness. Somebody help me. How dare they? How dare they? I just need to get through this fight. If it crashes after that, you know, it's fine. Because we can usually get a few hours into the game without it crashing. But I just need to get through this fight so that I never have to do it again. Because it, it will autosave after the fight. Oh, Lord have mercy. I'm pretty sure his next attack was going to face the platform I was on. Ah. Uh. So it's like it's kind of weird like how often um it crashes or when the time frame of the crash happens i don't know if it's like there are too many clocks on the screen like because she does say it's creating clocks so i don't know if that's actually if it's like creating too many objects or something or like too much i don't know like physics going on all at once right Like, maybe all the clocks crashing into each other constantly is just, like, fucking with it. But, like, we also did experience the crash when we were doing one of the training missions before. Um, when we were using C's for the first time. So I don't really know what's causing it. Like, I can't peg it down. It just seems random sometimes. Oh, fuck. They're here already? Shit. This is bad. This is bad. Get away. Get away from my danger zone. Oh, my God. He threw that dude at me. Yeah. Get fucked. Oh, God. Of course they go on my my spot. I'm good. I'm good. All right. We're good, gamer. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit closer. So we don't have to wait for the full turnarounds uh, but I'm not going to make it to that platform so I have to wait still uh, probably shouldn't have held this nope that was a bad idea oh well alright let's just get rid of a few of them he's going to start aiming at me here oh god oh no I don't have any stuff I don't have any recharge oh that was close oh that was so close Please, game gods, be kinds. Game gods, be kinds. Oh, he's going faster already. Shit, I missed my opportunity. I should have stayed on the other platform. Oh, dodge that. All right, now that I know he's going to do that, makes it a little bit better. Right, let's get ready for him. He's going faster now. Please don't crash, please don't crash. I need everyone to cross all their booty cheeks. What? Homie just skipped right over me. Does he do random? All right, let's get ready for it because he may aim here. No. Weird, okay. I still don't trust him. No, straight up. I just I guess I just missed it. All right, coming on over to this one. I don't see any more clocks per se than like than usual. I shouldn't have done that one. I got cocky. Uh, I do need to pay attention now cuz I'm not doing great on health. He was the one. He was the zoomy boy.
Okay. Yeah, okay. <sighs> well, I should have just stayed on that one platform. I had no business moving. Once he starts going faster, about the halfway mark, you just stay still. Let the dudes come to you. Um, you don't have to worry about uh, uh, any of the gun guys spawning on you. Just stay there. He'll get around to you eventually. Okay. Run it back, run it back. Let's try this again. What the fuck is that? I might need another mod that gives me energy boost and recovery so that I can get my energy back faster. Open. Open. Thank you. Alright, time to run. Open. Thank you. Time to run. Uh, I think he spawns dudes this time. Or maybe it's the next one. Yep, it's this time. Open. No. It's bad time. Bad time for this. Uh, get away from me. Oh, shit. Fuck. I thought I hit it, dude. I thought I hit it. That sucks. Um, Maybe I can get some health out of this. Where's he... Okay, he's facing that way. I get on this platform, I'll get some health. It's not ideal. It's like the longer I, I wait... Oh, I have a dash midair. Sweet. Uh, the longer I wait to... Attack. It seems like the, the, it's more right for crashing, right? The longer this fight goes on... But we kind of have to do it, right? We kind of have to wait for it. Ah, great. Alright, I should have enough energy. Should be alright. Should be aiming at this one now. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Thank you. Still not doing great on energy, though. Oh, crap. Ah, fuck. Where is he? He's doing it. He's doing it! Oh, fuck, I had the wrong gun out. It's not the one I wanted. It's fine, it's fine. Which way is it facing? Not the right way. All right, get some health. Leave me alone. Let's get ready for it, just in case. That dude's not doing anything, but he's leaving me alone. That's all I care about. He's not facing this way, okay. <gasps> Rockets! That sucks. Rockets kind of suck. Oh, this is not a good time for this. Uh-oh. I think he's facing this way this time. Yep. Oh, get it! Okay, we got it. We're fine. We're good. Oh, no! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! <laughs> There's so much stuff happening at once. There was so much stuff. Rocket dudes that I didn't realize were there. Ah, uh, the quickness. This this boss kind of sucks, in in a sense that I suck at it. The boss is fine. It's just a lot to manage at once. All right, let's um once again check our mods here. So we have shield strength. I don't need that anymore. Um, launch. Yes, energy cost. That's huge. I don't know why I didn't put that on earlier. That's going to give me more more launches per per round. The health boost was probably also pretty beneficial to me. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get some early cheeky damage here. I know we tried it earlier, but I'm actually going to try it again. Maybe I just missed. Nope. Can't do it that time. Awesome. Can't do it. Sweet. Well, this isn't the run. You know what? Fuck it. Reset it. Reset it. There's no point. I'm gonna be fighting for health the whole time. 
All right. So we know for sure. That's a that's the official answer is the first blast. You cannot cheese it and get some early cheeky damage. You just can't do it. Game says, mm-mm, mm-mm. It's kind of rude that they allow me to move, though, you know? Like, if you don't want me getting that damage out, don't let me move. That's my philosophy, at least. Like, put it in a cutscene where she's like, oh, huh, looking at it. All right, I'm actually going to keep it on this this one. I probably should have changed my gun to... S <gasps> I can change guns anytime I want? Oh, fuck, yeah, dude. Um, Yeah, give me shatter, bro. Because if they start getting close, now I can actually do damage to them. It's making more shots. All right, let's get over... Let's get over here. Open. Thank you. And let's... No, oh, no! <laughs> Press the wrong button. <laughs> Alright, whole stream is just going to be dedicated to this. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. I always forget that it's not double tap. It's not... The float isn't a double jump. You don't have to double tap it. You press and hold. Which kind of sucks. I wish it was double tap. I'm used to double tap. Double tap has been in video games since Mario. <laughs> so, you know, changing the formula, not my favorite thing. Also, trying to press and hold while you're in the middle of a fight, not always easy. I guess I could have gotten early cheeky damage with the um, with the pierce there, right? All right, there we go. Press and hold. I guess I could get the dash out real quick, just to make my life a little bit faster. Uh, dude should be spawning, I think, on this go around. Yep. Here they come. Oh god, wrong person. Oh, but wrong person. Yep, that sucks. It started aiming at the enemies and not the clock. Okay, I gotta go back. I'm not gonna have enough time. Set it back, set it back. All right, so they do die after that. Cool. I also don't know what killed all those other guys. Did the did the boss kill him? Must have. All right, wait for the the dude's gonna start doing his his big dash soon, right? Uh, he might not have spawned this time, actually. Uh, do I have energy for this? Okay, doesn't matter. It's not aiming at me. Uh, he's gonna aim at this one. I might want to go over there. I've barely done any damage to this thing. Alright, he's gonna spawn more dudes. I think I'll be alright, though. I hope. Open. Fuck. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. We're all fine. Everything's good. Oh, come on. You still got damage out, you son of a bitch. You know how rude that is? Alright, he should start going faster, I believe, this time. Uh, maybe not yet. Can I change the controls? That's a good that's a good question. I've never really thought about it. Possibly. There's a lot of ac accessibility in this game, so there's a, there's a good chance. I 
Okay. Uh, he's gonna aim at me this time. But he also may spawn in dudes. Not this time. Let's go. On to the next platform. Oh god, no, that was a bad idea. He went fast. He started his fast one. Crash. Here we go. Alright. I'm not giving up. I can't. I can't give up. Gotta eat dinner. It's fair enough. <sighs> I just want this to work, yo. It's, I don't even care that this is all we're doing today. You know? I had to start late, so we've only been going an hour. Well, no, only about uh, 50 minutes. Yeah, about 58 minutes. Okay. Not, not that much later, I guess. Reset myself. Just gotta reset myself. We'll get through it. Games, games are something, you know? Unfortunately, this does take away a little bit of my like, overall score. That the fact that like this stuff is even happening. But, I don't know. I don't know. Games are games, right? At the end of the day, it's still just a video game. It's not like it's um, life or death over here. We're just doing something for entertainment. Do I want spin? I might want grip. I never knew that you could actually stop stuff. It's kind of nice. Um, and I mean by like stop combat. <laughs> by going to pause, I thought it would continue on. So that's, that's kind of a nice to know. If I need to change mods on the fly, you can. Alright, let's grab this. Let's get ready to move to the next platform. In this early stages, we can kind of chase after it. Uh, he should spawn in, I think, this time. And unfortunately, I think they start getting in the way, too. Yep. So you kind of have to be quick about it. I think he's going to open. Okay. We are able to dodge him. Uh, the other dude's going to start doing that. Crap. I never, I never hit him is the problem. Dominate him. What the hell? I didn't hit, like, any of those dudes. What the fuck? Alright, gotta get ready. Gotta see where he's gonna f aim, just in case it's on this platform. It is not, I don't think. Alright, I'm gonna take this health. Uh, this dude will just disappear. It'll take way too long. Alright, I think we're safe on this platform f for now. Ooh, almost dodged right into that one. Shit. Not a good time for that to happen. Okay. We're good. Uh, I think from this point on, we're just going to stay here. Um, I think he's going to start doing his quick ones. Either now or the next round. I'm not going to chance it, though. Alright, that's a speedy boy. I need to be careful about that one. He's gonna start uh, doing his dodging. Here it comes. There it is. I knew it was gonna happen. Cool. Careful. That was the only dude. Okay. Um, I don't think he opens this way this time. I think he's gonna go over there. So I should be safe. Yep. Uh, unfortunately. That probably means more dudes are going to spawn this time. Yep, there they are. Get ready for it. There it is. Alright, he should start doing the fast one now. Okay. 
We have two more rounds. Here it comes. Get ready for it. I don't know if he's going to spawn dudes this time. We're safe. So we're not moving. We're just going to chill. Uh, is he doing his charge? There it is. Ah, oh, fuck. Wrong button. But it's fine. It's fine. We're learning. We're learning. I probably also should shield anytime I see him come through. Alright, he's gonna kill those dudes. Free shot. Free shot. Boom. There we go. Uh, dudes are probably gonna spawn this time. There they come. Double kill. Double kill right there. I got plenty of health sitting on this platform. Ooh, he went a little faster that time. He went a little faster that time. Uh, gotta be prepared for the fact that he may just always aim for us at a certain point. I don't think so. Alright, I gotta go fast on this one. Shit. Not good. Not good. Energy. Okay. Safe. No extra health, though, on this one. So I'm kind of on my own. Open. Thank you. Oh, please, one more hit. It's just one more hit. That's all it's going to take. We're getting there, y'all. We're getting there. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Fingers crossed. Oh, the moment. It is upon us. Oh, God. Did it. Oh, my God. We finally did it. If it crashes now, I don't even care. Because we don't have to do that boss fight anymore. Oh, my God. What the hell is that? Oh, that's the object of power. It, the anchor, right. We already, we heard that. <laughs> How did I already forget? <laughs> it's the, literally the name of the boss, too. Whew. There. No one of the rangers had such a hard time with that one. Yeah. <laughs> that's putting it lightly. My god. Um, I think I saw we got an upgrade for shield efficiency. Alright, let's go check our skills. We got some ability points out of that. Astral Constructs. Upgrade grip. Up, uh, charge. Three explosives projectiles. That's right. Um, Do I want a new one or do I want to upgrade one I already have? Probably upgrade one I already have for a new mod spot. Yeah. Okay. Abilities. Health. Launch damage. I wish there was more like... Anyways, uh, let's do that one. Levitation. Increase. Additional mod personal slot. Sweet. So we have three slots here now. Um, let's figure out what we want. Shield energy cost, health recovery per element pickup is pretty good. But it's only a level one, so I'm not really hyped about that one. C speed, shield strength, energy cost two. Um, we may go energy cost three. Do four. Nah, I don't really need that right now. I guess I can equip that one right before I take too much damage. Or like after I've taken a bunch of damage. That probably wouldn't be too bad. Uh, damage of all on low health? Yeah, fuck it, why not? I need to upgrade Shatter at some point too. It's only at level one. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, I mean, like, since we know that we can switch um, our mods out pretty much in the middle of combat, if it looks like we're taking too much damage, we can just quickly switch it out. Um, actually, that was a bad idea. I should go back. Because I can, I can teleport. Whew. I can't believe we actually got through that without crashes, without dying. <laughs> First tries. Uh, we need to go to containment P6. 
Um, it looks like the sealed threshold corridor. No. No, I need to go to up here. There's another one, though. There it is. The upper floor. Uh, we need to do some traversal this time to get around to Dylan. We had just unlocked Hover, and we got distracted by that one side mission, which, honestly, I should have given up on way earlier since it was crashing and I was doing really bad at it. Um, but we persevered, and now we can actually do the story. Uh, probably going to have to fight a bunch of dudes, though, right? Maybe not. Okay. Doesn't look like it, actually. Alright, and that opens up a whole new world of opportunity for us. Ah, oh, boy, I'm really gonna have to go through some of the old areas and see what kind of um, things I can get into. Because not only do I have this hover ability now, but I also have new key cards and stuff. Like, look at that, dude. Over there, there's materials. And I'm sure there's, like, other places where there's materials just sitting there. Yeah, dude, we're gonna have to pay attention to a lot of things here. I think with our three th launch efficiency pink. I think I need that. That's an upgrade. That is an upgrade. Okay, this floor looks like it's empty now. Ooh. Okay. I mean, we know this is only the fourth floor. Oh shit, we're back. We're back. Okay, okay. I see how this is working. So we came from, from over there, wrapped around. There's a blocked door, landed on that one. Cool. I wonder if we could have, um, you know, if there's like anything over there. I don't remember exactly which, which floors we visited and which ones we didn't. But I won't worry about it until I see something that's actually worth going for. Is that a swan? giant swan boat over there? An oop? I guess a swan. Swan boat is uh, an object of power. Hmm. No logs on it, though. That's unfortunate. I'm assuming the... Objects of power that we're going to fight that relates to Alan West is going to be the typewriter, right? We're probably just going to find the typewriter sitting in one of these. If we pay attention to crowbar, what is this? <laughs> is Half-Life all taking place in the uh, control universe? Dylan. He's so close. Okay, after we find Dylan, we need to remember, go relieve that guy of his duty. We'll see what happens when we do it, but maybe one of those things, like you get an achievement for staring at the thing for like half an hour. <laughs> uh, I can't get it from there, okay. Hello. Can you hear me? Oh, it's Pope. Jesse. We'll get to you in a second. I got stuff to collect. Uh, where are you talking to me from? Is there a radio? Okay. Are you there, Jesse? Emily? He's gone. Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. Oh. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. 
I'm on my way. <clears throat> oh. My brother's keeper. Yeah, something ain't right here. I need the level six key card to get to that stuff. Damn it, bro. I'm gonna have to do a, a a real big like sweep of this entire map if I want to find a lot of stuff for upgrades and whatnot. There's a lot of just stuff that I would never go back to, right? Why would I need to go back to Dylan's cell if he's not even here? Um, okay. So, we need to go back to the boardroom, but now with Hover, <laughs> I kind of want to see if there's, like, stupid secrets hidden, like, up through here. Uh, it doesn't look like I can grab onto that, nor go any higher. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything hidden on these geometric, geometric patterns either. Okay. Just because they can doesn't mean they will. Alright, now I'm just looking for documents. Something about Dylan. Research papers or something. Ooh. Or a audio log. I won't take up too much of your time today, Dylan. Like I said, I want to talk about Jessie, your sister. What about her? I just want to get your perspective. What do you think of her? What kind of person is she? That sort of thing. I adored my sister. When I was little, I mean. Back in ordinary. And you don't anymore? <sighs> when I first got here, sure. I'd always hope she'd come too. Find me. To take me home. We went everywhere together. Why should this be any different? Casper said she could come, too, to the Bureau, if she wanted to, but she never did. Why do you think that is? <laughs> because she didn't care about me. She always wanted to be out on her own, seeing the world. She always said so. Did she got what she wanted. Great. So, she wanted to see the world. Did she ever mention any place in particular? Why? We like to ask questions around here, you know that. Any particular cities, towns, landmarks, anything like that? I don't remember. What about family friends? Were you close with anyone living outside of ordinary? I'm done with this. Tell Casper I want pizza for lunch today. Dylan, wait, we're not... I also want pizza. I don't have pizza, but man, I actually kind of want pizza. It's crazy, like... How, as a kid, pizza was like the best thing ever, and throughout my entire life, it never really has changed. I always enjoy having pizza. I don't always get to have it, because, you know, moderation and stuff, but like, man, pizza's fucking incredible. I don't know if that's healthy. I don't know if that's a good idea to have. I should probably stop eating pizza. It's just not that good. It's just cheese and, and meats uh, and a lot of carbs, but man, is it delicious. Probably eat two slices, have my whole, like, carb intake for the next week. Okay. Um. So we need to go back to the executive suite. Alright. You know, should I try it? We've never done one of these, right? Go to pneumatics. I should probably try one of these. I don't know how to get back, though. Um. This should do it, right? Um, I have 19, I have 20 minutes to do this. I, I kind of want to see what happens with this object of power. Keep your eyes open. Keep them open. Hey, what can I do? Oh, you're back. Oh, thank you, thank you. If, if I look away, I don't know what this thing will do. You have to get me out of here. The door can only be opened by the Panopticon supervisor. That's Langston, if he's still around. Langston. Yeah, I know him. I'll go ask him how to get you out. Please hurry. My eyes. They can't. They can't. Hey, calm down. Just focus. What's your name? Focus. Right. My, my, my name's Philip. And 
I think I can hold on for a bit. It's just my eyes. My eyes hurt so much. Just hang on, Philip. Can he not blink? Weird. Okay, he may not be able to blink, which is kind of a situation, because it disappears if he looks away. That's what he said at the very least. Um, Alright, so I have this major target. This dude will be fine for right now. I have five abilities. Holy shit. Um, let's go... Launch damage. That might not be a bad idea. Or maybe some more health. I'm going to get some more health this time. And then I should have two, which also may allow me to levitate a little bit longer. Which will be nice. Okay, cool. I feel good with that. Um, let's go to... Pneumatics, huh? I don't even know where to find that. Did I ever get pneumatics? I feel like I should have. Let's see, do I see it here? Is it a place that I can run to? Um... I don't see pneumatics. Does it tell me like one of like goes somewhere? Executive pneumatics. Okay. Uh, central executives. Pneumatics. There it is. So dead letters is pretty close, but it's on a different level. All right. We'll start at central executives. Um, actually, this may be a bad idea. Dylan's here. This may put us into a uh, story cutscene. We'll see what happens, but this may not work out the way we want it to. It's taking a while to load. It hasn't crashed because it hasn't frozen, but it's loading up something. Place has definitely changed though. Okay. There are two things that we need to pay attention to here. This thing. Put a record on. Interesting. Okay, let's see. Um map. I need to Um If I go around to the director's office, it looks like I can get around there. Maybe going around to the cafeteria, though? Best of luck. This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau Security. I'm making a formal security order. Okay, so that, unfortunately... You can't just hear it wherever. You have to be close to that thing, but I'm not going to listen to it. The jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. Okay. Let's just double check here. If I go up this way, we may be able to get to it. So let's... Oh, can't use my hover here. Interesting. Fair enough. Um, we don't see pneumatics. Director's office. Oh, that's just a radio. I do love a central hub area that continuously gets updated. That's pretty nice. All right, let's take a quick look. Do we have... I guess we'll go this way. Kind of loop back around and see if maybe this leads to pneumatic somewhere. Still haven't been able to do whatever the hell that is. Do you just want hell yeah. Hell yeah, they did. Uh, launch just got upgraded. Holy hell. Granted, these guys are only level 3, but Jesus. Alright, let's see. Communications, not what I need. Ow. Ow. 
Um, dead letters might get us there. Though this very much could just be a dead end right here. How have I never been to pneumatics? Yeah, I don't think I can go anywhere else in here. Dead Letters is kind of a dead end. What's up, Clam? How you doing today, brother? Good to see you. Happy Monday to you. Hopefully your day is going well. I wonder if I... No, I don't think I can get up there. Maybe? No, that seems impossible. I feel like there's a height limit. Made it to two streams in a row. You're doing well. You're doing well. Uh, maybe I can continuously go up. Maybe this is exactly what I needed to get to pneumatics. I'm like wasting time just collecting stuff now. How about you, man? Doing better? I saw you took some time off. I hope it's all... Yeah, um, it was just... I think we said it was a birthday depression. I just kind of, as I got closer to my birthday, I kind of just got... I don't know. Weird about it. And then once it was over, and my dad's birthday, who was 10 days after mine, started being the main focus, um, I felt a lot, lot, lot better. So, I appreciate you asking, man. I really do. Um, it's, it's kind of weird how your mental state can just be affected by certain things like that. And you, and I'm not always expecting it, right? Usually my birthday is not a big deal. Like, I don't really think about it. Um, I don't really like to celebrate it, but it's never been like a problem, right? I've never been depressed about my birthday or anything like that. But this year, for whatever reason, I just, I guess I was. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, same. Yeah, it's, it's weird how bodies work and brain functions just betray you sometimes. Uh, this doesn't seem like it's leading me anywhere that I want to be. I'm wasting so much time and I'm trying to get to pneumatics. I don't know how to get there. Fucking stop pressing that button, dude. Um, communications department seems like it was the way to go. If I went to the mailroom and then the communications department, I probably would have gotten there. But I, how? Oh shit. Okay, bye. That was rude. Fuck. Wasn't expecting dudes to spawn in there. Alright, I think we're good. Nah, someone else can take care of that. I guess I'm going back to Central Executive then. And let's see if we can find uh, the way to the mailroom or something. Maybe, maybe the elevator was the right way. Maybe I just need to do that. No. No. No, it was not. But if I go up to the director's office and loop around to where the mailroom is, it's crazy because I've definitely been to pneumatics before, right? There's no way that I could have, um, have it unlocked on my map if I haven't been there. It's just I don't know how the fuck to get there. What? What the hell is this jukebox doing in here? That's kind of weird. As usual, more questions than answers. Cafeteria. 
communications department is technically this way, but I don't think that's going to help us. Let's go see if we can get up top and head to the director's office. Director's office was this way. Uh, executive affairs. I don't think I want to go there. Um, maybe I do. I guess you can get around to the director's office from there, but let's try it through this way. Let's spend the next 10 minutes trying to just get there. But I've never done one of these before, so might as well at least try it once, right? Uh, ammo efficiency. I'm going the wrong way. How did I get turned around that much? Oh, because I just straight up never went into the director's office. I got turned around. Okay. Getting the shining vibes? That's not inaccurate. That's not entirely inaccurate, actually. Okay, mail room. Oof, he hit me, huh? Rude. I'm gonna take this rocket guy. Mine. Um, I don't know if this was right either. Let's try going up. Mail room is down. I don't need to... Shit. This wasn't it. What if I go back down? Where's there a sign over here? Pneumatics! Hell yeah, dude. Wait, what? Pneumatics is this way? That seems weird. Bro, where are you going? Pneumatix was this way. What? Shelter? Um... Mail room? Do I see another sign? And then Pneumatix is just gone. Okay. Was there another door for Pneumatix? That I just, like, missed? Hotline chamber, that's not it. Alright, I think I'm giving up on this one. Where the hell is this guy? I think we're just going to give up on this. Go do that other mission. Like I said, I know I've been to pneumatics before, but I, I don't know how to get back to it. Nah, no, I'm not going to seize this guy. So we'll go find a uh, central point. We'll go fast travel, do another one of the missions, and call it a day. Man, that sucks. I can't believe I never figured out how to get back there. Uh, Astral Construct. Jukebox Tok? Absolute jukebox token. What? All right, I'm going back to Central Executive. There was there was the jukebox over there. I think I started this game a long time ago and never got back to it. Same, bro. Same. That's why we're uh, we're playing it. It's been two years in the making. I said I was gonna play this game before I even really. It was like the first game I, I wanted to stream two plus years ago uh and then i just stopped never got back to it we were gonna play alan wake first and then we just kind of straight up got distracted can i do anything with these tokens i 
access expeditions. I don't know if I have access to this right now. I have a feeling it will come later. All right. Um, since that's not working, let's go find Langston. Oh, ask him about the jukebox token. Okay. Uh, I don't know where this person is, though. Is it you? What's your name? Also, what's back here? Thank you. I found this token. Mm -hmm. Any idea what it does? Ah, that is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places, like bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? Uh, the Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry? You just don't know where? Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the hiss arrived. Come to think of it, the song should have rolled back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in the token and enjoy the ride. All right, cool. I just wanted to make sure that um, I wasn't starting the DLC. The DLC is uh, is not the formation it's a foundation i was like wait that sounds familiar so i think the uh, dlt only starts after you beat the main game so i can't start it now what's the deal with blackrock oh fuck don't get me started on blackrock you know ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry oh, fucking lab coats man love making my job harder sounds like there's some tension between departments Still, at least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. You know, me and Salvador used to have after work beers down there. What do you know about Dr. Darling? Uh, about as much as anybody, I guess. Head of research, loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. Uh, now he's been acting a little bit psycho recently. Although HR told me not to use that word, so... Everyone oh. thinks <laughs> I kind of like Arish. ...lead us to the answers. But he seems like a decent dude. It, then what help could he be? Um, do I care about any of these? You're not the only one who's busy, you know. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think I do. It's good information. We can always go back to it uh, since they don't continuously update like their dialogue trees and stuff. Jukebox tokens to be constructed. All right. Of course, it said something. And I could just completely miss it. I'm gonna wait to see uh, what it actually said on my uh, other screen here. Uh, jukebox tokens can be constructed at central points and earned through bureau alerts, board countermeasures, and expeditions, and defeating elite enemies. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go see at least what the first one is. If it's cool, then I'll start focusing on certain things, but um, I guess we'll start this. Player and enemy weapon damage. I have an hour to do this? Holy shit. Undertake expeditions in Quarry Site Beta to earn unique mods. Completing each of the four objectives will dismantle the foundation to reveal the rewards waiting us inside. Um, sure, let's try it. Why the frick not, right? We'll see what this game has to offer. I don't I, I just hope it's not like a horde mode. Investigate and clear four island sites. I have 24 minutes. Okay. I'm going to assume that these gates lead us there. Uh, you don't need to activate it. Okay. Oh, okay. Careful now. This place looks dangerous. Alright, so my weapon damage and enemy weapon damage goes up. Uh, so it kind of negates it. I guess... I hope my health is, uh... I hope my health is up to date. You're a sucker for good lighting? Me too, brother. This game definitely has some great lighting carrying it right now. 
Uh, I feel like I hear his. Burn the his corrupted material. Oh, okay. Just get that over there. Uh, these guys are level five. I should be all right. Especially with a uh, higher tier. Now the question is, are they just going to keep on spawning? Because it may be beneficial just to go do the mission real quick. Ah, boy. Hey, come under my control. I am getting materials for this too, so... In the grand scheme of things, it's probably worth it just so that we can upgrade all our shit. Alright, gotta find all these things. Uh, we have to do it all in 24 minutes, so that's kind of the uh, unfortunate part. Why did I toss that thing? I kind of needed that. So that was stupid. Alright, let's see if there's any others close by. Uh, what? Before I go hunt that one down? Shit. Okay, um, battle is in fact over. Interesting. I wonder how long that will last for. Uh, not for long. Each time I do one of those. Gotcha. Uh, I need one more. Seems like that's all I need. Can I control him? Yes, I can. His friend might not like it. But I can. Shit. Help him out. That was bad. Oh, shit. I had the wrong weapon out. I was really looking for the, um, whatchamacallit, the grip. Okay. Well, at least I get it. So I can, I can finish the fights. So that's good to know. So then I can, each time I like throw one of those in, it, it may, um, Activate a new wave. So clear out, throw one in, clear out, throw one in, blah, blah, blah. Or I could grab them all, throw them next to the furnace, and then just kind of do it all one at a time. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try seeing if I can find them all after I clear out the first wave. I also got to remember that their damage is up as well. Oof, took a little damage there. That sucks. Uh, there's one. The other one wasn't over here. Okay, interesting. It was over here before. Will they spawn in here? It may only be when I pick one up. Alright, there's two. Um, I don't see one over here. Right. Alright, this dude will heal his his buds if you don't take care of him. Did he uh, disappear somewhere? He's still around. I gotta go find him. I don't know where he disappeared to. There he is. Or there's another one at the very least. Uh, he's still around somewhere. There he is. Ah, oh, fuck. The big guy's here. Ah, oh, fuck me. Not good. Not good. Charge. Ah, oh, boy. Okay. They won't get healed. That's not good. This guy sucks. Oh, actually, he's not as bad. Not as bad. <sighs> Just gotta clear out a bunch of dudes for a little while. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, he's right behind me. Oh boy. Bad, bad, bad. Bad for gamer. Gimme. No. Ugh. Okay. Health. Right. They do more damage. I cannot just rush in the way I was before. Uh, okay. Hmm. 
Mm, not a good spot to be. Ow. One recharge. Okay, those guys are all down. All right, I just need to find the third and final little rock thing, corrupted material. Yeah, so every time I pick one up, it seems like the dude spawn in. So I kind of fucked myself right there uh, by picking up two and tossing it at the same time. So I, I kind of pincered myself. Clench it up, indeed. Um, Did we see the last one, y'all? Because I had to clear out the, the other two islands shit in in like 20 minutes now which is not a, a fantastic time if I'm spending this much time on this island alone um it's got to be like over there right That would have killed him. All right, let's check this this place. There it is. Okay, that one's out. That one's done. Um, how do I get back? There it is. Seventeen minutes. Uh, I did get some pretty good weapon mods, I believe, or at least uh, upgrade materials. So, worth it. Uh, hopefully I get to keep them, too, right? Maybe I don't need to finish all three. Ooh, wait, what? There's more. Fuck. There's way, no way I have enough time for that. Unless these next ones are super easy. I thought there was only, uh... Three, three gates total. Uh, which is stupid, because it literally says, clear the four gates, four islands. Recover the biometric logs from the dead, what, from dead rangers. I know. Oh, get. Gotcha. They were the explodey ones. Uh, it's going to take a little while to uh, collect those, which sucks. No, I didn't charge it enough. Damn it. All right, got to go find that thing. Thankfully, he can't heal himself. Oh, my God, but he's running away. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? I can try it. I don't know if it'll work. Oh, that was just mine. My guy. Cool. Battle done. Uh, definitely don't have enough time to clear out the rest of them, which sucks. Ow.
I hear it. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can grab it. This is sci-fi as fuck. It totally is. I love it. It's got some weird, like... I don't know where this one is. I heard it for a second, but I lost it. There he is. No, it's not. Not the right one at all. Uh, anyways, yeah, there's like some weirdness going on for sure in this game. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of weird stuff that doesn't make sense, but I also love it. Uh, maybe that is the one that we need. Kind of sounds like it is. Should not have gotten up in his face. There it is. All right, take care of this guy real quick and grab this. I think we'll be safe for a little while. Dude spawning. Okay, we're good. Time to get out of here. Leave me alone. The fuck are all... Oh, more dudes. Man, they really don't want to leave me alone, huh? I need to get out of here. Don't need to fight all the guys if I can just get out of here. Unfortunately, I didn't get the uh, record, but I don't really care either. Um, I don't know if I can make that. Uh, it's going to be close, but yeah, I think I can. Okay, that one only took me a few minutes. That one, okay. I might be able to do it if I, if I rush through these next two. That first one I probably could have done a lot faster. Instead of killing all the dudes, if I just grabbed all the things and just ran. Okay, I didn't, uh, I didn't die. I didn't die. Crash Bandicoot warped. Haven't thought about Crash Bandicoot in a long time, to be honest with you. I probably should have bought that Crash Trilogy. I was not, like, I never really got through all the Crash Bandicoot games as a kid. They were way too tough for me as being, like, a little baby. Achieve the Lost Specimen data. Uh, as a baby gamer. Uh, no, dude. Is this it? Squad Captain Lopez reporting on Expedition 17B. At the formation now, visually... No distinction from the previous visit. It's a specimen. The link detectors are still standing. I don't see any specimen. Is it further? Somewhere else? No dudes are spawning either. Um... Retrieve the lost specimen data, it says. Alright, maybe I just need to pay attention to something a little bit more. Oop, okay. Was that it? Eliminate the waves of hiss, okay. Have to do this fight, unfortunately. And it says waves, not just like, <gasps> level 7? Jesus. Don't do it. Don't do it. There we go. A uh, bunch of dudes up top here. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a situation. I don't know if I'm ready for level 7. Grenade behind me. 
Okay. Ah, uh, there's a dude below me somewhere. There they are. Turns out, I am ready for level 7. For the most part. <sighs> Unfortunately, it says waves, which means like 3. Um, so that kind of sucks. Oof, Jesus Christ. This dude's just launching grenades and shit. It's dangerous as hell. Oh, don't have any, uh... There we go. Launch that right back at his face. Hell yeah, dude. That's how you had to do it. Sweet. Dude's not that much of a problem. Just launches grenades right back at him. Uh, I gotta find the other dudes, though. There they are. Is that it for this wave? Yep. One more. One more wave. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry up. I don't got time for this. Just gotta be careful that there's no dudes coming who are super dangerous. Yep, there are. I need to take care of the uh, smaller dudes for, for a little while. So unfortunately this other dude's major problem. So I kind of need to keep him in my peripheral. The other dude's not really a problem to me right now. You're just kind of annoying. But I'll take care of him, because I have to eventually. He hit me with that? That was so fucking dumb. Alright, I think that's the last wave. Gotta get back, gotta get back, gotta get back. Only got five minutes for the last wave. Not gonna make it, unfortunately. Uh, unless there's an easier way to get to the next island, which I highly doubt. Warped was hands down the best. Heard that. I always wanted to like go back to that uh, crash in Spyro and see how how they fared. Um, I think I own the Spyro trilogy because I always end up liking Spyro one on the PS one more than um, Crash. I thought Spyro was just a little bit more enjoyable as a video game for me when I was young. Telekinesis, <laughs> more like telekinesis. <laughs> Pretty much my uh, my damage dealer. I need to, uh, next time I find ability points, I need to upgrade that first. Only play the first Spyro. I remember, uh, I think I had Spyro 2 as well. 
but anything else after that, never touched. Cleanse the three broadcast plates, plates A, cleansing progress. Okay, that looks like it's it. Probably gonna be a bunch of dudes, right? Can't cleanse yet. Oh, okay, interesting. You gotta stay in the circle. Weird. Oh, uh, thankfully it goes super fast. Uh, but these guys are kind of tough. They're level eights. Okay, that one's done. Just move. Just move and go to the next one. You only got three minutes left. Clear out dudes that you need to. But other than that, don't spend too much time. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I need to go. 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 Mm-hmm. I know. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. Um, where's the next one? Does anyone see it? Uh, it's probably up top. Looks like this uh, goes around in, the, in a big old circle. Okay. I should get shatter. How? I should get shatter. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, Pierce, I love you, but I need shatter for a little bit. This is really bad. Give me that health. Thank you. Hmm, where? Above me. Can't hit him. <gasps> I I focus on telekinesis. I shouldn't have. I have three minutes. Is this going to reset the whole thing? Please, please, please. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I shouldn't have used telekinesis there. If I just used uh, grip, I would have killed him. No problem. Ah, oh, boy. All right, let's see what happens when we actually like, officially die. First death was only... um. Falling. No. Well, first death was over at the uh, first site. Three minutes. We got this. I got two minutes. Come on, come on. Form. The question now will be, will it kept my progress? I highly doubt it. But at least I know with this one kind of how it works. We going for the rush job. Clear the three. Uh, fall, please. Jesus. Ugh, get me out of here. Can I dominate that guy real quick? While I'm standing here. Thank you. Leave me alone. Holy shit, who the hell was that? Someone hurt me. Uh, is this one? This one's cleared. I gotta go. I gotta go. Bye. Fucking out of here. No point sticking around. Don't have time for it. Minute 40. Get in the circle. Mm, that guy hurts. Oof. Fuck me. Oh, this is bad. I'm like one hit away. I need to go get that health. You learned your lesson. Don't do that again. You fucking idiot. Uh, that one's cleared. We gotta go. 55 seconds. Oh, come on, Jesse. Just survive, girl. Grab health as you need it. There's dudes behind me. There's Shriekers. Oh, okay, I need to kill this guy. Shriekers suck. Don't get exploded on. Oh my god, get away from me. Oh, there's so much going on. We were so close. We were so close. We were so close. Oh well, not gonna have enough time, unfortunately.
Well, we saw what it was. Um, that's that's seriously a situation, right? That's not a uh, easy challenge that you can just boop 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 in and out. Twenty three seconds. I'm just gonna give up. Unfortunately, can't do it. Um, distorted tourist. <gasps> Jesus! What the fuck are you doing in here? That scared the shit out of me. Did I? I cleared that last one. I did actually clear it. I think I stood in a circle enough and then I had to go back and, and kill the guy. That scared the fuck out of me, bro. I was not expecting him to be there. All right. Well, I could do it again and I could probably get it done real fast. I'm not going to. Um, I'm, I'm going to hope that we kept all the mods in whatever we picked up. At least we know what it is, and if we decide we want to continue doing it, we can. I'm more interested in, like, story-centric stuff instead of just, like, a little horde mode, a la this sort of thing. So, uh, side missions I don't mind doing when there's a story to be told, but... The song ended. Well, but technically, I think it did say that um, these uncover the mysteries of the the oldest house here. So it probably would be beneficial for us to do, but... Okay. Uh, everything was like level 2s and level 3s that I picked up. That's not fantastic. Ammo recovery on taking weapon damage. Huh? No. Okay. Um, do I have anything better than this one? Which is reload speed. I get headshot damage. Energy gained from headshots. Ammo cost per shot. Interesting. That one's not bad, actually. Uh, minus 15. Actually, don't mind that one at all. Okay. Uh, shatter. We probably what do I have right now? Projectile spread. That's not fantastic. Um, projectiles fired plus five. Ammo cost per shot. Sure, I guess I'll take that one. Um, I don't really use shatter all that much. Pierce is kind of my favorite go-to. Let's see, what's this one over here? Damage while aiming. Hell yeah. Uh, this is a level 3 upgrade, though. I don't think I'll find anything better. Uh, and zoom, huh? Nah. Uh, any other level 2s? Let's get rid of any level 2. I'm not going to use those at this point. Alright. Uh, headshots, as great as they are, I'm not that good of a gamer to get headshots. Um, projectile spread, projectile speed, exclusive to charge, which I don't have right now. Zoom, don't care about that. Accuracy could be pretty cool. Nah. Damage while aiming is actually pretty, it's pretty good. Unfortunately, I don't really get enough to uh, capitalize on the damage after kills. I gotta go soon anyways. Gotta make sure I'm nice and fresh for when I get pissed off at work tomorrow. <laughs> All right, brother. Thank you for joining us. I hope you have a great night and uh, a good time at work. Hopefully. In any case, um, we should go and do that other side mission that's taking up our, our inventory. Uh, Astral Constructs. Let's see here. I cannot build any of this. That kind of sucks. Anyways, um, where did I need to go for it? It's this one with Langston. I need to go containment and panopticon entrance. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, sure. Hopefully that's the entrance. How goes the crashing? We actually defeated the boss with, before it crashed, so... <sighs> Feels good. Every, we haven't had a crash since. Fingers crossed. Knock on wood. Um, we've, we've definitely found some challenges, though, in this game. Some of the side missions don't mess around. Okay, I need to go to the entrance. I think it's through here. Listen to Langston. There's someone named Philip up in a cell. He's watching a refrigerator and very rapidly losing it. Philip? Oh shit, I forgot about fridge duty. He's been in there for over a day, I totally forgot. <laughs> you forgot about him? There's a lot going on. The hiss, the Benikoff TV. Considering the number of things I'm juggling, ma'am, I think it's. Listen, it's fine. We just need to get him out of there. He said you'd be able to open the cell door? Yeah, I can unlock it on my terminal. There. Done. Door. Open. But Philip can't just leave. The fridge is behaving erratically. Ocular contact is the only thing that seems to placate it. If we don't have someone in there watching it 24-7, people will die. I'll figure something out. I'm pretty good with these things. Being pretty good with altered items isn't standard bureau procedure, ma'am. He doesn't know us very well. I wonder if, like, a teddy bear would work. <laughs> I wonder, like, if uh, it has to be a real person staring at it. What's the difference between objects of power and altered items? Think of them like storms. Objects of power are like tropical cyclones or hurricanes for the uneducated. They're big, rare, and scary. Of course, directors can just bind the OOP and become the eye of the storm. Altered items are more like weird thunderstorms. Some may rain frogs, some may rain corn, but they all rain something. And how does the hiss factor into all that? It's changing them, making them aggressive. Now they're all raining, I don't know, knives, knife rain. Nice metaphor. Okay. I think that's all I care about I'll with him. Later, Langston. Probably missing some like great background detail, but uh, return to Philip. Poor guy. I could probably just tele um, teleport there, but maybe. Uh, what floor am I on? Or one? Yeah, no, nah, that's a little bit too much walking for me. I'd rather just do this. Uh, that was fast. I wasn't expecting it to teleport me that fast. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Sure. Hello? Jesse? Um, I guess I can just go talk to him now? The fridge is doing something! Philip? <gasps> oh! Philip is dead and I'm dying? If I look away. Oh, oh! It Stare at it. I see. I see. Oh wow, that took out a lot of health. Right, I can subdue it now. Wow, almost killed me though. I am coming into this with no health. Fucking fantastic. This sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. Fuck? Yeah, like what the fuck, actually. Uh, okay. Shit, I need health. I need the health. Strong balls. Strong balls. Oof. Careful, careful. Ow. Rude. I fell off the fucking platform. I thought there was a wall there. Okay. <laughs> the fridge looks like it's frowning. I completely missed that. What is this giant tentacle monster? This giant penis with arms doing in here? I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like looking at it. 
Um, okay, at least we know what we're doing a little bit more. I wasn't expecting a boss fight, I'm gonna be honest with you. I guess I really should have expected it. But I wasn't. These objects of powers are like controlled by like Cthulhu monsters. It's really making me question Alan Wake a little bit more. Hello? Jesse? I'm back. I'm coming in. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I kind of see what you mean with like the shadow right there. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go into this with more health than before. That will probably help us. It'll also probably help if we don't fall off the platform this time. Look away. It hurts me. Now the question is, will it hurt me if I look away from the uh, the giant penis? Eldred Horde. Thank you. I could not think of the name. Ugh, God, it's just it's the worst to look at. Send your balls right back to your face. Okay, that works. Uh, oh, oh. fuck, ran out of energy. Alright, he's gonna go somewhere else. Okay, so he goes to the same place each time. And grow some hands. I can dodge that, good. As long as my timing is good, I can dodge it. Oh, what? Thought I grabbed it. Thought I grabbed it. <gasps> okay, he creates holes in the floor. That's what happens. Holes in the floor, not in the wall. Platform slowly disappears. Golly. How rude. How rude. Okay, fair enough. It's a learning experiment. It's a process. Ah, oh boy. Can't believe they did that to me. Why would you get rid of my floor? Why is that the process? I gotta watch fucking Philip die again. Don't look away from it. Get in there. If I look away, me. I gotta wait for the, the balls to get closer so that I can grab them. That's what she said. Otherwise, I start grabbing other stuff. I guess I could use just anything and destroy the balls before they get close to me. Yeah, I don't know if they just do more damage. Yeah, they actually seem like they do. Oh, he did move this time, though. Oh, shit, we can, we can aim at him. We don't have to wait for him to uh, do that. Uh, there's probably a hole in the floor there. Gotta be careful. Nope. Oh, okay, bye. We might have only been doing damage because of Pierce. That's a possibility. Alright, holes in the floor? Holes in the floor. Holes in the floor. I really should just get closer to him. <gasps> No oh god, can't see! Can't see! <clears throat> okay. Yeah, no, that's fair. Great. Fantastic. <sighs> Sorry, Philip. You gotta die one more time. 
Um, I need to get rid of Pierce. I keep on thinking that I have grip on and it just never changes back over to Pierce may be the only thing that actually damages it though. Cause we kind of experienced that with the anchor boss. It's not so much rough. It's just like you have to pay attention to him and I'm just not paying attention to where I'm stepping. Hello? If I just run, I can avoid the um, tentacle slam. So I was just getting cheeky trying to get damage that I had no business trying to get. If I look away, so. It hurts me. All right, so I'm gonna stand actually a little bit closer this time. This sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. So my platform will be a little bit. Oof, God, it's so close. It's right here. Okay. Yeah. So the balls are. Oh shit. Shit. Keep on wasting my balls. They're the main damage dealers. Right. Oh shit, even my shots damage this place. Okay. That kind of sucks. So any damage will create a hole. That kind of sucks. Shit. I wasted one of my balls. Uh, okay, that was weird. Alright, gotta find a new place to stand. Oh, that was almost in the hole. I need to stop going back and forth. Obviously, I'm losing more platform. Like, why don't I get closer to him? It just, it makes so much more sense. He's destroying that section of the platform, yet I stay there and strafe back and forth, not paying attention to him. It just makes no sense. In my brain, I know what I need to do, but in practice, I never seem to do it. <laughs> oh, God. It's like back in Elden Ring when I tell myself that I had to dodge into enemies instead of away from them, yet I'd always dodge away from them. Jesse? The friend is doing something. Learning lessons as a gamer is not easy. For whatever reason, we get like stuck in our ways very quickly. If I look away. <sighs> in any case. Also, the uh, little debris really doesn't do all that much. It's unfortunate that I keep on picking it up, though. It sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. Fuck. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Get closer to him.
Jesus Christ, that scared the fuck out of me. There we go. Got him. There's no black pyramid here. Find a way out, huh? That was rude. Which seems fixed. Did fighting that thing off change something? Uh, okay. Sure. If I can leave. First tries. Yeah. Definitely didn't die. Definitely didn't fail. <laughs> I don't know why or when it happens, but like at a certain point I figured that I had to like do all the mechanics in a game first try perfectly, even though I've never played a game before. It's like I forgot that you can struggle in video games and it's okay. I don't know. Let's Play has changed my mindset on how I uh, present video games. How'd it go? Where's Philip? Philip's gone. Something happened before I could get him out. <sighs> Poor Philip. Poor Philip. I never did like fridge duty. <laughs> but if you're here, then who's watching the fridge? The fridge is fine now. I took care of it. You don't just take care of altered items. What did you do? I touched it and wound up in the astral plane. This thing was in there. It was huge, had one big eye. Wasn't friendly. <laughs> We've been That's a penis. Lots lately about something fitting that description. The astral plane is usually connected to our world through objects of power, not altered items. If this thing is linking itself to altered items, then it's clearly powerful. This may happen again. Do you think that thing is what got Philip? Must have been. The Panopticon is a dangerous place. The agents all know the risks. But since you're some sort of altered item whisperer, I've got a list of others for you to corral. No, you don't. The hiss are causing containment breaches left, right, and center. Here, mm. start with these. I'll see if there are any others missing while you're gone. Mm. My life just got a whole lot easier. Breach duty is complete. Did he actually give us new missions? Yep. I mean, we can do this for a little while. I would like to do the mission, the main story mission, but let's see. Um, the traffic light in the Panopticon. Do I just need to... S I guess the biggest question is, do I just need to go around and find these things? Or is there like a specific place that they... That they all sit? Because if I had to just st stumble upon them... That doesn't seem too exciting. Bro, really? You're down here? Okay, bye! Thanks for playing. <laughs> uh, or never mind. I don't know how he just did that. Or just teleported back up here. Oh, that didn't kill him. That shit, though. Yeah, he should not have been able to teleport back up there like that. But it's alright. I got a jukebox token for that. Alright, I guess we'll do a uh, run through of the floors and see if we can find the correct objects of power. At least we're looking for the traffic light. I don't remember seeing it in here, though. And I was pretty sure I looked at each of one of these. Uh, that's going to be level four. Do I want to go to four immediately? kind of want to go to level two. Mm, did level two have anything? Getting over there, it might be over there even. <sighs> I 
Okay, let's check level two. That was the swan area, right? Uh, that looks different. That's a Christmas tree. I don't think I actually looked at that before. The archives. Have I been to the archives? I have not been to the archives yet. We can explore this area for a minute. Ah, fuck. Well, shit. That thing's here. That's not good. I don't know if it can hurt me from up here. While well, I'm searching around for nonsense, I have no reason to be looking for all this stuff. I see one over there. I'll go grab that. I feel like this is an area where an object of power would be. You know, that just seems a little not right. Usually they're contained a little bit more. <laughs> Jesus! Time to go. I didn't get to see what was, uh... Okay, I get it. Protection. Got it. Fuck. Where's that orb at? Okay, bye. Fucking rude. Oh shit, that, I think that killed it. Uh oh. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, this does not seem correct. This is a room. I'm not getting trapped in here. This thing's gonna come after me. Why am I in here? Time to leave. It almost very well did get me captured in there. I wonder if I can close the door on it. I wonder if I could trap it in one of those spots. Wait, can you close the door once you've opened it? If I get it in here... I'm gonna take damage, unfortunately, but there's a chance... Maybe? Or maybe it can't come in here at all? Doesn't seem like it can get in here. I have no idea the reason for even being in here. I'm safe right now, but that's pretty much all. Oh, possible object of power. No. Nope. 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 I'm not doing the threshold kids anymore. Those kids can go suck a big old dick. Okay. This room wasn't it. Uh... 
Let's go down one level. That's a level six. I don't have access to that yet. All right, I think I need to go. I don't think there's anything I can do in here. There's stuff. There's a lot of stuff in this game in this game that I just don't know how to uh, completely solve. I'm just going to focus on the main mission for now. There's a lot of backtracking that needs to get done. But uh, I'm not gonna. Just not gonna. Okay, let's go hit this uh, central control point and go talk to Emily officially. Ooh, I can make stuff. Um, upgrade shatter. Um, I don't really feel like I use it enough to upgrade it. I'm gonna be honest with you. So I'm just gonna leave it as, as is. Let's see, what else do I use? Probably get launch damage. I use that a lot. Okay. All right, let's go back to central. After about two hours and 30 minutes, probably should have been back here way sooner, but yeah, sometimes you get distracted, right? All right, let's go see what's up with Dylan, because he's he's here. Dylan is here. Or at least she said he was. The resonance emitted from the HRAs is purely antithetical to every variant of the HIS signal I can arrange. But how did Darling create it? No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. But am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother. Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. Did we walk right past him when we were trying to find pneumatics? Hmm. Oh, wait, there was that um one blocked door, right? Yeah, this one up over here. I remember. Well, that's a little ominous. Yeah, that that doesn't seem natural, my guy. You are a worm through time. The thunder soon distorts you. Happiness comes white pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror inverted his name right. If you saw your brother floating and speaking tongues, would you be happy to see him? Would your little smile be like, oh, good to see you? And you'd be like, oh, fuck. I always knew you were the weird one. Maybe that's what that smile was. She's like, I always knew he was the weird one. Shit. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. What? He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've Ew. always been the new you. 
You want this Can you to stop be that? Please. Don't say push your fingers <sighs> through to the wet. I'd hoped for. That's nasty. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. no. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in! You've always been here! The only true of a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy Stop it! Orange peel! Shit! <laughs> what? He can see you. This Orange peel? Safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small, in ordinary, in the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for a pause, we built you till nothing. Oh. The air cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. Can we just the shoot him? The slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it, and they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. And you're warm as a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> I don't like the fact that he's just saying random nonsense. He needs to stop that. Welcome to Hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The Hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Mm -mm. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. Who is Salvador? Salvador? To Salvador. What it turned him into. Security guy, right? We fought him as a boss. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this lie projector. You can help me. We can end this. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, the face of the enemy, huh? And we just got uh, access to level 6. If I had only just done those missions, huh? I would have gotten to access to level 6. Cool. Wasted so much time. Probably should have just done the main mission and, and left it off of there. Alright guys, I'm going to take just like a quick break to stretch my legs um we're gonna come back and we might do a little bit more i think i think i mean we'll probably do a little bit more but um just give me a quick minute i'll be with you in a bit Sound it resonates in your house. Oh, after the song, time for a 
lost. We built each other's nothing remains. The egg cracks and the truth will emerge. But you, you are home. You remind us of home. You've taken your boss with your boss with you. All hair must be eaten. Under the conceptual reality behind this reality, you must want these waves to drag you away after this long time for applause. Cliché is death out of time. Breaking the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth. How do you say insane hurts to be happy? And your one was a tune you just can't stop. I'm in a dream, baby, baby, baby. Yeah, just plastic, so safe. Nothing to worry about. Oh, funny. The last two breaks now. The hole in your room is a hole in you. You can't only let you enter the hole in you. You have always been there. The only child. A copy of a copy of a copy. Orange peel. The picture is you holding the picture. When you hear this, you will know that you're in the new. You, you want to listen, you want to dream, you want to smile, you want to hurt, you don't want to be. You are alarmed through time, the thunderstorm distorts you, happiness comes, white pearls, but yellow and red in the eye, through a mirror the inverted is made right. Leave your inside by the door, push the fingers through the surface into the way, you've always been near you, you want this to be true. We stand around you while you dream, you can almost hear our words, but you forget, this happens more and more now, you and regulation. We wait in the stains. Where they describe this is redacted. Repeat the word, the name of the sound. It resonates in your house. Oh, after the song, time for a pause. We build each other's nothing remains. The egg cracks and the truth will emerge. But you, you are home. You remind us of home. You've taken your boss with your boss with you. All hair must be eaten. Under the conceptual reality behind this reality, you must want these waves to drag you away after this long time for applause. Cliché is death out of time. Breaking the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, on the floor, no floor, you fall. How do you say insane hurts to be happy? And your one was a tune you just can't stop. I'm in a dream, baby, 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 you're just plastic, so safe. Nothing to worry about. Oh, funny. The last two breaks now. The hole in your room is a hole in you. And we let you enter the hole in you. You have always been there. The only child. A copy of a copy of a copy. Orange peel. The picture is you holding the picture. When you hear this, you will know that you're in the new you. You want to listen. You want to dream. You want to smile. You want to hurt. You don't want to be. You are alarmed through time. The thunderstorm distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, the inverted is made right. Leave your inside by the door. Push the fingers through the surface into the way. You've always been in your you. You want this to be true. We stand around you while you dream. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. This happens more and more now. You gave us the permission and the regulation. We wait in the stains. Where they describe this is redacted. Repeat the word, the name of the sound. It resonates in your house. Oh, after the song, time for a pause. We build each other's nothing. The egg cracks and the truth will emerge. But you, you are home. You remind us of home. You've taken your boss with your boss with you. All hair must be eaten. Under the conceptual reality behind this reality, you must want these waves to drag you away after this long time for applause. Cliche is death out of time. Breaking the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth. On the floor, no floor. You fall. How do you say insane hurts to be happy? And your one was a tune you just can't stop. I'm in a dream. Just plastic, so safe. Nothing to worry about. Oh, funny. The last two breaks now. The hole in your room is a hole in you. You can't only let you enter the hole in you. You have always been there. The only child. A copy of a copy of a copy. Orange peel. The picture is you holding the picture. When you hear this, you will know that you're in the new you. You want to listen. You want to dream. You want to smile. You want to hurt. You don't want to be. You are alarmed through time. The thunderstorm distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, the inverted is made right. Leave your inside by the door. Push the fingers through the surface into the way. You've always been in your you. You want this to be true. We stand around you while you dream. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. This happens more and more now. You gave us the permission and the regulation. We wait in the stains. Where they describe this is redacted. Repeat the word, the name of the sound. Resonates in your house. Oh, after the song, time for a pause. We build each other's nothing remains. The egg cracks and the truth will emerge. But you, you are home. You remind us of home. You've taken your boss with your boss with you. All hair must be eaten. 
Come to the conceptual reality behind this reality. You must want these waves to drag you away after this long time for applause. Cliché is death out of time. Breaking the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth. On the floor, no. Floor, you fall. How do you say insane hurts to be happy? In your world as a teen, you just can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 you're just plastic, so safe. Nothing to worry about. Funny. The last two breaks down the hole in your room is a hole in you. You can't only let you enter the hole in you. You have always been there. The only child. A copy of a copy of a copy. Orange peel. So it seems like Dylan is uh, saying a bunch of the uh, stuff that he was telling us before. Copy of a copy or a copy. Why do I need to, do I need to talk to him? I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. Can we talk? Like it might lead to a side mission, actually. Dream I had last night. Off to a good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in ordinary before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child, a girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the bureau came and caught me brought me back here uh oh lock me up that's a possibility we have to think about have you ever noticed that our names jesse dylan they could be girls names boys names could be anything i don't think i've ever heard a girl named don't dylan you find that weird i find that weird sure the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? Hmm. That was weird indeed. Um, okay. I don't know what the triangle's about. Usually that means there's a mission of something, but I'm just gonna leave it be. Yeah, I can't say I've ever heard of a name named Dylan, but I won't doubt that it's possibility or that it exists. Who knows? There's a chance with the weirdness that is in this game that we are actually once were possibly in one universe a single entity and then the projector actually like split us or something i don't really know um i've been into that shelter right i think i have okay let's see so i need to go to containment prime candidates do i have that uh not in this way containment prime candidate um Research, containments, that's the mission. Uh, looks like logistics is going to be the best bet here, right? All right, let's try it. Unfortunately, this place can be a little bit of a hassle to, uh, to get to. Not like, not to get to, but to navigate, I guess I should say. I still haven't really figured out everything I need to. But I do fast travel a lot, so it would probably help if I just actually walked from one place to another using the doors, but... <laughs> okay. Let's see. If I go up these stairs... It leads to security. Um... That might be what I need to do. Because if I go up through security, it looks like there's some stairs up over there. Great. Okay. okay. That sucks. Couldn't hit that guy for whatever reason. There's a dude with rockets. Missed him. Great. I'll take those. Oh god, they got another one out on me. Weird. Hate when things block my freaking telekinesis, bro. Oh my god. 
would normally get those hits. Telekinesis blocked it, though. Or... Things blocked my telekinesis, I guess I should say. Probably should just change my orientation there. It may not happen if I uh, face a different direction. Okay, so that's where I need to be. Have I been up here before? I feel like I had gone through there once. I have to be careful. I hear th talking. Usually that means... Okay, yeah, well, we've been there. Is that the... Is that the place I needed to be? Anyways. Um, usually when there's talking, there's one of those little orb things that you can't kill. I need to be careful of that. There's a very good chance we run into one up here. Also, it could just be uh, Polaris. Hey, bud. Okay, that didn't work. <coughs> Sorry. Prime candidate program. To find new prime candidates. The Bureau needs a director. Our future. P6 and P7. P6 and P7, he says. Alright, there's an orb somewhere. I could probably... Oh, never mind. Don't even need to worry about it. Uh, is it worth it? Not really. Gotta find the orb. Gotta find the orb. No, like, legitimately gotta find the orb. Okay, this place is trippy as fuck. that guy go. Uh, I'm assuming the orbs are going to be down here. Yep, there it is. All right, let's chase after it. Uh, I think it's dead, right? Yep, looks like it. Ow. Okay. Anyone else around here still? Uh, music makes it sound like there is... But I don't know for sure. I think they're down here. There he is. Knew he was gonna be around here somewhere. There we go. And that was good enough. Alright, let's go check the shelter real fast. This is gonna be some materials, I already know that, but still. Okay. We saw the door that was blocked up. We'll have to go there eventually. Um, I may or may not be able to get through this one. Oh, I think that's just a shortcut, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Great. The Threshold kids are back. I wasn't able to watch the uh, commercial before, but I guess I should watch this one. Really gives ourselves some nightmare fuel before we go to bed. <laughs> oh, boy. Just the worst. I can see you're upset, Meg. Why don't you tell Uncle Mr. Bones what's wrong? I hate this so much, dude. I, I hate this so freaking much. You can't ace every test, Meg. You see... Everyone has different brains. Mm. 
Some brains can talk to each other. We call this ESP. ESP? Some brains can lift Why? like a baseball. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> no of course, of course. Expected that one, actually. Yes, if you fail your clairvoyance test, maybe your brain can throw baseballs or talk to dead people or make friends blind. Once we know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to sit in the big chair. <laughs> Somehow I don't think he means the director's chair. What if I don't want the big chair? What if I don't want the big chair? Everyone wants the big chair, Meg! That's why we're all here. Use those brains to listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. It's awful every single time. Every single time. Yet we keep on watching them. The talking is getting louder. I wish okay. things had gone differently in ordinary for us. But wishing won't change things. Finding the projector will. There's so much coming together in this one case. Uh, a new object of power, something we have not seen before. Uh, I mean, coming from me, that's, that's saying something. I the boy. Dylan Faden, prime candidate six, and the sister as well. Well, once we catch up with her, but the, the boy, had so much potential. Well, we're talking Northmore level readings here, and, and I don't want to invoke his name. But it's completely different circumstances here. It's remarkable. Northmore. Don't want to invoke his name. That seems a little ominous. Again, I don't really remember um, the name of the town from Alan Wake. I guess I could look it up real quick. Bright Falls. A valuable member of our team, yes. Excessive force. Dylan has so much. But he's, he, he's just a kid. Like, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Roberts got killed. It's an unfortunate accident, that's all. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. We'll make this work. Okay. Uh, there may be some more that you can watch and get some more information on Dylan. It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. Oh shit, they were watching me. Okay, so this was actually where I was supposed to be the whole time. Last scene. Bunch of photos of me, I'm assuming. I don't I don't know if they're all me. In the library over there. Coffee shop or whatever. Candidate P7. I got a new outfit. Uh I can't change outfits here. Jesse Faven uh movement tracking. I actually do kind of want to read this. Never mind. That's not as important as I was hoping it would be. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan, and other kids as well. We loved it. This time, I remember was different. 
we found a way in deeper into it like it had shifted we went inside and that's where we found the slide projector a dump is a place for lost things things that have been thrown away did you ever feel that way when you were growing up jesse what no Yes, but that has nothing to do with- Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? Mm. No. <laughs> Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No. What? That's just stupid. Come on. That has nothing to do with this. Nothing. The slide projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? You know, stepping into a painting? Into a hidden world? escaping and finding adventure there away from your parents i don't i i don't think so i don't remember maybe i don't know okay weird also weird that i'm already at my pictures already hung up here there's a lot going on. I'm not exactly sure I understand it all. Okay. Let's actually go interact with this thing. All the times I felt paranoid, I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. Is she a janitor over there? I guess she did get a job as a janitor. She's being mugged. Just sitting reading. Petting a puppers. Wow. Bureau is creepy, that's for sure. There's freaking stalkers over here. Uh, the turntable. Ordinary AWE. Alright, before we go too much further then, let's, um... I kind of want to finish exploring this area. Charge Blast Boost. I still don't have charge. Probably should be something I get at some point. Right, we've already been in that shelter. Nothing over here. Uh, there's all the shit that's going on over there. I, that's gonna be a trip. Well, this is wacky and zany. Not sure if I enjoy this. Oof, kind of makes my eyes a little not feel great. Uh, I don't think there's anything for us to see over here, though. No collectibles or anything like that, so I'm just going to leave a beep. Uh, last thing I do want to see is on this side. I don't think there were materials up over there. And... Right fall. There it is. There is some information. Bright falls. That's from Alan Wake. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna need to look for this. I don't even remember where it was. Correspondence? Shit. Non-official. I don't think that this is it. Yeah. Okay. Case files most likely would be... There it is. Bright Falls. Oh! We have two, actually. 
Uh, event summary. An unconfirmed threshold manifestation at Cauldron Lake, Washington, resulting in a fictional story written by the author Alan Wake, creating an AWE in which reality was altered to match that of the story, uh, though only locally and for a limited time. Mr. Uh, Kirkland, head of investigations, alerted on September 13th, 2010. I actually do wonder if that's when Alan Wake was released or technically took place in game. Um, that the AWE event was taking place in Bright Falls. Break had received a call from Barry Wheeler, Alan Wake's literary agent, on behalf of uh, Breaker's daughter, Sarah, who is the current sheriff of Bright Falls. The Bureau team, uh, team in, arrived at the site two days later, only to confirm that the event was over. Interview was conducted. Refer to the 1970-something Thomas Zane. Uh, eyewitness reports highlight an old light switch, possible object of power, that blank, missing. Wake was not found at the scene. Reports claimed he dived into the lake, but nobody was recovered in the search. And then the supplement. Uh, Alice Wake. Mr. Wake's wife was found during the Bureau's investigation. She was interviewed and uh, evaluated. She showed signs of severe mental trauma in the form of blank memory. Sure. Uh, acute memory loss or something like that, maybe. She was later directed to treatment. It was concluded that she had been trapped in the threshold during its manifestation. Notable individuals still missing after Bright Falls. Um, the, by, after the Bright Fall events are FBI agent, Special Agent Robert Nightingale, blah, blah, blah. No one cares. Uh, refer to the creator dilemma. Interesting. And the RE files, Cauldron Lake Lodge. I don't know if I have those. Bureau researchers believe this event was the result of a forceful perception of subjective reality stemming from Mr. Wake overlapping on our own. Wake has been flagged as a potential uh, paralitarian. See the Prime Candidate Program file for more details. In 2011, a book by Clay Stewart titled The Alan Wake Files was published by Roundabout Press, blah, blah, blah. Ancients interviewed Clay Stewart and suspected minor paralytation sensitivity. He was placed under indefinite surveillance. Notes, a monitoring station was established at Cauldron Lake to alert the Bureau of any future activity. Cool. Uh, and now that we know Alan Wake 2 is in development, that actually is a little bit more relevant to everything. Which is really nice to know. Um, okay, research. I don't know if we have any of the stuff that they were talking about for. The Alan Wake stuff. Sorry, <laughs> I just lost myself. I was just trying to read and make sure I wasn't missing anything. Uh, yeah, I don't think we have anything else. I'm sure there's... I can listen to all these again, huh? Which is kind of cool. And I can actually see which ones I'm missing and which ones I, I still need. Um, these ones I have not listened to, but I am curious about the prime candidates. After North Moore stepped down, I doubled every effort to find new prime candidates. There was no one. No one but me. That wasn't good enough. I pushed hard. I never wanted the Bureau to end up in that situation again. The Bureau needs a director. Always. When my time reaches an end, I want more options on the table. P1 through P5 were all false leads, dead ends, and disappointments. Then, P6. Dylan Faden. He fell into our arms. No parents. They're gone. Casualties of an AWE. The boy has exceptional talent. The oldest house will be his home. We'll build him from the ground up. He'll be trained and taken care of. Darling can be in charge of this project. I can't. I'll stay away. I will not fail the boy like I failed my own family my interesting my wife we weren't careful enough back then something came home with me oh i took work home my susanna got sick when i realized my mistake i wanted to bring her here for darling to do what he could kate flat out refused 
Civilian doctors treated our daughter, but they didn't have a clue. She died. Kate left me. Same old story. That was a long time ago. The Bureau is all I have now. And the prime candidates are our future. There are two. P6 and P7. We're spoiled for choice. I wonder if Alan was one of the candidates P1 through 5. Or something like that. Interesting. Because he did say refer to a prime candidate thing on one of the documents. There's a chance. Okay, so P6 leads to Dylan stuff. I see. And then into P7 for Jesse's. Gotcha. Um, so we've done everything in Jesse's then, right? We need to go to the ordinary AWE. No, I need to go to the turntable. I studied what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. Fuck. Wrong. Wrong gun. Didn't mean to have all that one up. Okay. Shit, low ammo. Let's stun that guy real quick. New case file. Uh, okay, not anything important from what I could tell. That place looks ominous. Okay. Uh huh. Gonna have to fight some dudes. Gotcha. Possible name boss as well. Uh, shield boost, and we got a few other ones as well. We need to double check this. Uh, shield strength and evade energy cost. That's not important. Let's break this down. Uh, level two, I don't need that either. Um, I don't. Ooh. Okay, we did get something else. Rate of fire goes up. Uh, ammo refund chance on hit. I don't know if that's important to me, actually. I don't really feel like my rate of fire is all that low, but still. Maybe I'm stupid and missed it. Yep, stupid and missed it. I was like, how do I get down there? I was expecting a door or a pair of stairs, not an elevator. Great. Great. Right, I'm switching over to grip. And I were both prime candidates. Experiments. Oh, that's all you had to say? Yeah, no, yeah, you were. I mean, it was kind of obvious as soon as we figured out Dylan was. But maybe that's just me. Maybe that's someone out on the on the outside looking in. It's a little bit more obvious. Ooh, didn't get him. It's fine. Fish him up like that, and I think that's everyone. Easy peasy, dude. Easy peasy. Alright, let's clear this place out. Um, I also want to see if I get any upgrades here. There's a chance I might want to unlock charge. But if I can upgrade one of my current weapons, I'll just do that. There's a subway access around here? Interesting. Uh, I cannot unlock charge, but I can upgrade shatter. Not interesting to me, actually. 
So either it's um we upgrade P Oh, we either upgrade Pierce or we unlock charge. So those are the, the two options we have there. Sure. I guess I'll make a set of five. Oh, I just wasted so many materials there. That was stupid of me. That was actually pretty stupid of me. And it's... How do I... Uh, change my outfits again? Not through here. Was it through the main menu? I don't ever remember how to change my outfits. Am I seriously just missing it? Abilities. Not here. F wouldn't be through fast travel. Maybe it's only in the um, central executive. Maybe that's the only place that you can do it. Anyways. Oh. Nope, that's not how you do that. Hmm. Still something I don't have in order to do this. And I just wasted a whole bunch of health. Great. Can I really not get in there? Can break all the glass, but you still can't get in there, huh? Unless I just need to break it more, but I kind of doubt it. You can. You can. Yep, just had to break break it more. There we go. Just had to cheese it. Rev, how you doing today? Thank you for joining us. We're going to finish this uh, last mission and see what the hell's going on with Dylan and this whole P6P uh, levitation ammo efficiency. What? That's not where it goes. Um, shit, which one does it go under? It's for any of them. Ammo cost while levitating, minus 27%. That's actually pretty good. I think I like it more than this one. But I don't really levitate when I f shoot. That's the problem. Okay, seriously. Just cooperate. Thank you. I should probably start levitating more. It's just not something I naturally think about. I wonder if I could get through this one then. Uh, that's a 10-4 no-go. Nailed it, dude. I'm gonna start this game over again. I hope you enjoy it. Um, you would probably know then. There's no difficulty setting on this game, is there? It's just one one setting, and that's it, right? Unless I missed it in the options when I first started the game, I haven't been able to find it. Okay, let's um. Uh... Where am I? I need to go to the turntable, so I'm gonna check this little spot real fast. Nope, can't check that spot real fast. Forgot. Already forgot. And then I guess we go to the turntable. Oh, it's those guys. Uh, where's that other dude at? There he is. Oh, great. It's one of those things. Fucking great. Can't do anything about that guy right now. So 
So we'll just levitate our way through. Well, he can't really touch us from up here. Um, but we're gonna have to worry about that control panel, aren't we? Alright. We're gonna have to think about it. Yes, yeah, so if you go in the options, there are some more options to play with. Oh, okay. I actually didn't see that. I guess I just have to look a little bit harder. Okay. Where are we going? Let's think of a plan of action. Uh, looks like it's gonna be this. Wherever the hell this is. I don't think it can follow us up the stairs, though. So we should be fine. Uh, C's accelerator. Not gonna use that. Okay, there's that. Uh, let's open up this, just so I have a way to run out and get out if I need to. There's gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. As she presses it. <laughs> it won't rotate. Something's blocking it. Okay, I think that was it. Unless there's stuff on the other side. But we'll deal with that when it comes. Yeah, it looks like it is. Rotate. Something's blocking it. There they are. See him. There we go. I think we're clear from here. I didn't see any other pustules. Nice. Didn't even need to deal with this guy on the bottom. Is there something I need to get down there that he would have made it difficult to acquire? Because as of right now, he seems pretty useless. Uh, there are some materials. It's fine. Dude's super slow. Not even worried about him. Um... Kinda looks like that's it, yeah? I don't really see anything else. Okay. Easy peasy. It's kind of just like an area of denial, like... But it's not even that difficult to, to manage, right? I, I didn't even need to... I wonder, could you miss hover? So, like, if you had to drop down there, maybe it would have been a bit more difficult, but, like, because I had hover, I was just able to ignore it completely. Also, there's something in there. <laughs> I just saw that circle up here. I don't see another door, though. Maybe we circle back around, though. Maybe I want Shatter for this? This seems pretty close quarters. Well, it's you. Good to see you, bud. Fuck, I hate this guy. Here's another one, isn't there? Uh, not quite. There he goes. Got him. <laughs> yeah, right. Get real. New control just got the go ahead to be remade. To be made. Whoa. Okay. All right. So they're making an Alan Wake 2 and a Control 2. Interesting. We'll see how this game ends and, uh,. How will possibly connect if it will be with Jesse or some other characters? That doesn't seem right. Well, I figured out how to get that other thing that we uh, were questioning. That means the wall is destroyable. That's the first time we've seen that. They introduced the mechanic even. 
Um, man, do I want to go back and see if I can grab that that one piece? It's not that far of a walk, so I actually don't mind it real quick. We may get some more Alan Wake information. Dude, I love that. Destructible walls. Wouldn't have even known if I didn't see that first uh, little technology thing just sitting there. That's actually kind of cool. Because, like, you, you go over and you grab those, like, pieces of materials up there. And you're like, wait, what the hell? You don't really think of it until you see this one, right? And then you have to, to question a lot of stuff. Like, how the hell do I get there? You check it. You see the thing. You try it. And then you go, oh, I remember seeing another one of those. That shit always feels good. And I'm almost positive you can't do it to any wall. But what if you could? Weird. Is this a helicopter? Or is it a plane with uh, top wings? It's a plane with top wings. Okay. Weird. Nope. Grab this one. Jesse, can you... Jesse, for Christ's sake. What the fuck are you doing? That was dumb as hell. <laughs> <laughs> that was just straight up dumb. Ah, uh, there's a third one back over there. And an elevator? Oh, to get up top. Right, right, right. Okay, and there's where the uh, third one is. Let's see what's in here real quick. There's a fourth one. Everything's green. Good to go. Elevator's open. Alright, so they just give you an extra just in case you never find that door. Cool. Alright, where does this lead me? Anywhere? Secrets? No. No secrets. Alright. A little bit of a shame. A little bit of a shame. Search for the slide projector, object of power. Bunch of dudes here. We're gonna be in our way though. Leave me alone. There are more dudes. I can't tell if that cloud one is there. I think he is. Gotta be careful about him, though. Oh, there's that one. He's one of those dudes. Uh, he's not the strong version, so I'm not too worried about him. Oh, music's done. Okay, never mind. I could have sworn it was one of those invisible enemies. I'm happy they're making another one in 2023. Hey, more games and more better, right? I'm glad it wasn't a critical flop and they decided to just leave the franchise un unfinished or anything like that. More games is more better. Spin rate of fire boost. Uh, fire boost. Wow, that was words that I chose to use. Um, I don't really need shatter anymore. Oh, hi. Just chilling there. Sorry, security officer. Just doing your job. I <laughs> just come through and murder him. Kind of feel bad for these other guys who have just been taken over by the hiss. 
Obviously, they all needed to die, but still, it's kind of it's a little depressing. You're listening to America Overnight, celebrating 29 years, shining a light in the shadows. <laughs> you move some paper, the whole desk dropped a few inches. I completely missed that. Maybe it was an object of power. The men in the suits. They told me it was an industrial accident. But this is something else. Something nobody talks about. Ordinary. This certainly doesn't sound very ordinary, Caller. No, not ordinary. Ordinary. It's a town. And it wasn't an industrial accident. I mean, that's what they say. But that's bullshit. Whoa, please watch the movie, Caller. It may be 2 a.m., but we're still a family show. I'm sorry. It's just... Cool. Uh, I think I reset it. I didn't mean to. I was just playing around. Alright, whoops, whatever. Uh, they were talking about Ordinary. We have some case files about it, too. There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world. In the form of altered world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects. A gun, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So, clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there's something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power, with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions. Or die trying. Hmm. Okay, I'm in a box. <laughs> so we influence it just a little bit. Weird. Weird. I'm sure a bunch of stuff will be answered as we get further into the game, and I actually like read the uh, case files and whatnot. What the hell is that? Did I get rid of that ball? Oh, no. I think I, it was a visual glitch. I don't think that was supposed to be what I thought it was. Yeah, I'm sure if I if I read a lot of these case reports about Ordinary, listened to all the audio logs and whatnot, a lot more things would make sense, but I've been kind of ignoring it. Too much reading for my taste. Annual evaluation of Dylan Faden, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Carla Vaughn. The questions asked here correspond to the fifth iteration of the Gunner's psychological assessment. Are you ready, Dylan? Let's begin then. In a single word, describe the world around you. Where's Casper? Dr. Darling is out of the building today. He's never out. He didn't want to come, did he? He never visits, not since Roberts. To tell Darling it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. I learned. Will you tell him? In a single word, describe the world around you. A prison. A cold, empty prison. Not even a poster on the wall. Mm -hmm. What is the next number in the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? 18. What day is it today? How the hell would I know? It's not like you give me a calendar. You find a rabbit in the woods. It is breathing, but not moving. You cannot see any blood. What do you do? Leave it. Expand on that. It doesn't matter. The rabbit's not real. None of it's real. What day is it today? Do you enjoy asking people questions that can't be answered? Is, is this what gets you up in the morning? 
What you dreamed of doing as a scared, stupid little girl. Can you describe a dog to me? In Ordinary, we had a friend. Nosebleed Neil. And when it all went crazy, you know what I mean. Nosebleed Neil turned into a dog. Or something like a dog. What day is it tomorrow? Fuck off! I don't know! There is no calendar! How can I fucking know? Dylan, calm down. Fuck you! Fuck you and fuck Casper! Hey, hey! hey uh, are you watching this, you old fuck? Did you send your bitch because you're too scared of me? Where is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need... I mean, yes, dumbass questions from someone who's not really receptive, who also has a immeasurable power. Yeah, you're probably going to get it fucked up. That was real dumb of her. I'm uh, not going to lie. Kind of feel bad for Dylan, yeah? A little bit. You know, he's taken as a child, separated from his sister, experimented on. Couldn't have been a fun situation to be in. The woods, the dump. Okay. I don't see any materials, so I think I'm clear just to go in here. Uh, okay. This is kind of weird. Though I do get to feel like Godzilla for a little while. And that's always fun. Was this disappearing? What the hell is that? Lighting. Yeah, she sounded super condescending. Wasn't expecting that. I should have, because we've been able to break apart and almost destroy everything, but... Uh, it broke apart into actual pieces that made it up, instead of just, like, random particles. That's surprising. I really... There we go. Ah, uh, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. I'm in a situation. Use the explosives. Uh, there's a dude over there. Hey, a token! I can go back to the jukebox, even though I have like 15 of them crafted. I found the slide projector in the dump outside town. Did they recreate that dude? Is that where they keep it? They say when you visit your childhood home, everything feels small. Like a miniature. Not real. They got that right. Is this our house? Our house in the middle of the street. Yo! Wait, what? The destruction on that, bro. Look at it like splinters apart, bro. What? Obviously, it's kind of like cans, what, what breaks apart at what point, but still, dude. That's cool. Again, most games wouldn't even bother with that level of uh, detail. Shit. <laughs> what? You break off a piece of it, doesn't mean it completely disintegrates either. <laughs> Bro, that's really cool. That's really cool. That's what I call like unnecessary level of detail, right? But I love it because it's immersion. It's like adding those little flourishes just to make you believe it. Just a f small little bit more. Fantastic. Remedy, good for you. Just straight up good for you. You mentioned a poem last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? Yes. Beyond the shadow you settle for, 
there is a miracle illuminated. Hmm. I looked the poem up. If only I couldn't find any poet by that name. I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s, named Thomas Sane. What? I don't know, matter. It suits you very well, the poem. How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself? I didn't. No matter. You've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about that? Okay. Yeah, um... It's this... I feel... an emptiness. A yearning for something that I think I lost. It's natural for you to feel that way. Your brother and your parents are dead. No. No. Dulin's not dead. And that's not even it. You're referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood? Polaris. She's come back. After a long time, she's calling me. In a dream I saw, she... She showed me things. Jesse, it felt more real than anything. As real as what happened in Ordinary. The industrial accident in your hometown? That you believe Polaris caused? No, it wasn't an accident. There was no industrial accident, and Polaris didn't cause it. She saved me and Dylan. Jesse. No! It was a cover-up. The government knows about it. There were agents there. Agents from... I don't know exactly, but they took Dylan. They... I'll find them. I won't stop looking. Polaris wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. I have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time. Something... Something hugely important is going to happen. Jesse, you know we can't let you go until you're well. And that begins by understanding what's real and what's imagined. I don't like this psychologist. They all suck. I don't know if it's the same one, but they, they're they the worst. I would leave that session immediately. So I do have to wonder, right? Now, uh, she was talking about that filmmaker and poem dude not being real or one being real versus the other i wonder if like jesse and dylan are alternate dimension versions of themselves right maybe at, like one point they activated this slide thing and then the other one came through and then like we're twins or whatever or brother and sister uh in reality they're just each other essentially um or imaginary maybe they, they made them up it's an interesting thing. I wonder if one of them came through the portal way back when, or if they are actually brother and sister and they just happened to be around this object of power at the same time. But if she remembers the names of different things, right? And they exist, but they're not what she remembers them to be. That's, that's usually alternate dimensions, right? In, in most fiction, I should say. Wow, this place looks dirty. They moved the whole landfill here in the middle of New York, and nobody saw a thing. What? Pretty unbelievable. This is the landfill from your town? They moved the whole god- oh. That's weird. That's a little weird. Bro, what? There's so many documents in this game. These dudes might as well have just read a book. Let's wrote a book. I know. Well, they're not going to bother me from up here, so I can continue my exploration for a little while. Um, can I walk on this? Hell yeah, I can.
Oop. Bunch of dudes. Okay. Just gonna chill up here. Completely safe. Completely safe. Ow. Mostly safe. <laughs> Why fight on their terms when I can fight on mine? Right. I don't know why I just tried to do that again. Ow. That was rude. Oh, come on. Ammo. Come back. Come on. You can do it. Oh. Dodge. Otherwise I'll hit you. There we go. Get that guy. Um, a bunch of these weak guys left. I don't think there's anyone with a gun. Sweet. Oh, don't break your ankles, though. That, lab. that could have been dangerous if I just fell. Okay. Sweet. Easy peasy. Got a new jukebox token, too. At some point, uh, I'm gonna have to try that again. Oh, joy, it's one of these things again. Wait. I'm back here? Where the hell is Darling's lab? Oh, it's straight across. Okay. Cool. So we have to turn it again. Um, where was the door that I needed? Oh, okay, here it is. Here it is. No, no. At least not from that way. Um, maybe down from the bottom? I don't remember there being a control panel over there. But maybe? That was dumb. Well, I'm down here now. Don't know if it matters at all. Uh, no. It's a limited time, but I do have... Um upgrades that I can put into it to float longer if I want to okay don't press that can't press that nothing else to really do over here the walls back interesting I doubt there's anything else back here, but it's weird that the wall came back. Uh, actually, a lot harder to break this one this time. Great. Awesome. Love it. Uh, wasn't this way. Let's go get some of this health over here. Uh, maybe I just go back the way that we originally came. Abilities. Let's see. Um, health, most likely. I need six energy for extra. I don't really care about melee or anything like that. Uh, I could do launch damage. No, I... Oh, yes, I can. I need four. I'm sorry. How much do I need for this? I only need two to unlock this. Do I want extra energy? Or extra launch damage? Extra energy sounds fine. Still can't craft anything. Okay. Uh, weird. I don't feel like I go back this way. That feels counterproductive. Uh, Sterling, Ordinary, AWE. Archives, uh, Turntable, Area. I need to still get over there. 
I feel like that's his lab area. I just gotta figure out how. How am I gonna rotate this thing? Not through here. I'm probably gonna go check over there again. Uh, I feel like there may be some more that I'm not privy to. Now that the door is open, there might be some extra like buttons or something I can I can press. Oh, you know what? Sorry, <laughs> I didn't check the lab, <laughs> the mobile lab that's just been sitting here the whole time. Beautiful. I love my be big beautiful brain. right in here. There it is. We found the thing. What else is in here, though? Anything important to read? A bicycle. <gasps> that kind of reminds me. Is uh, Stranger, uh, Stranger Things Seasons 4 is out already, right? If it is, I need to start watching it. Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, Dimensional research. Today. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. Subtitles are off. Darling took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. I'm kind of getting a little bit of uh, Mass Effect vibes from that, you know? I don't know if anyone... Fucking great. Anyone else, but like when the... When Shepard's being overtaken by... Um, the, the collectors, or the beacon, or whatever it was called. I, forget, I already forgot what it was called. Whenever she's having visions, I guess I should say. Uh, is there someone else? Yep. Am I clear? Oh, come on. That's it. Not even difficult, unfortunately. It came out in May. Cool. I'm gonna have to start watching that. Alright, well, I think we found uh, where we need to be. Search for the slide projector in dimensional research. Which again, I'm assuming is straight in front of us, but I do not know how to get there. Um, I'm not going to worry about it right now, I don't think. Oh, wait, hold on. I've got to go to Research Ashtray Maze. Where the hell's that? Uh, let's get some more health. Uh, research, research, central research, research, okay. I see. Uh, central research is going to be the fastest way to get there, it looks like. Maybe? Looks like that all connects. In any case, I'm actually not going to do that right now. Um, I'm going to, I believe, end the stream here. We have our mission for the next time. We'll take care of it then. Uh, as of right now, I just kind of... I don't know. I think I'm ready to relax and, and go to bed. It's been a long day. Um, so I'm going to go enjoy myself. Everyone, I want to thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy the rest of your night as well. And I think tomorrow for Tuesday, I will also stream again uh, at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time around there, unless something happens where I need to uh, take a little bit more time. Kind of like today, I had to you know, call my sister and stuff like that. Make sure my mom got to uh, Ohio correctly. Uh, so I had to start a little bit late. But tomorrow, we should be able to 
um, start on time. I can't imagine that we won't. So I hope you have a good night. Thank you for joining me. All my chatters, all my lurkers, all anyone who's watching VODs or however you decide you want to support me. Um, I do want to just mention real quick for everyone who is watching, um, obviously, you know, trying to expand some certain things, trying to be a little bit better about streaming and, and doing certain stuff. Um, but if you want, I have new socials down here, Instagram, TikTok, obviously my Twitter and everything there. Uh, feel free to drop those a follow if you have any of those socials and you want to see more. Um, cool stuff could be on the way. I don't know. It could also be dead in a week. <laughs> I know that's not great to say, but it's there currently in its current form. So hope you all have a great night. Peace out and much love to you.